Hey guys, happy hump day. Just trying to get my camera to be straight here. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's adjust a little bit. How's everybody doing? Okay, let's see. Sean, GBC, Mommy. <laughs> Teresa, Barbara, Ray, Diane, Pat, Darla. Hi, guys. How's everybody doing? Oh, let me tweet. Got a tweet here. How's everybody doing? Happy hump day. Let's see, where's my coffee cup? Oh, that's my coffee cup. Guess I haven't put it there in a while. Let's find the coffee cup. Hi, AJ, Christine, Pamela, Marianne, Artsy. I'm looking for my coffee cup. There it is. Okay. Link in profile. Okay, we're all set. Except my voice is probably going to sound like the fan because the fan is blowing. <laughs> the fan's going to, you know, that fan voice when the fan's blowing right in your face. You know. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I'm, and I can't give an, another book away. I've got three to send out this Saturday in international. But this is going to be the next book we give away. Ma Miss Melody sent us two. So this will be a giveaway in a week or so. Hi, Kathy. Maybe two. We'll see. Um, your two colorist books. Which are your colorist books, Diana? I don't know what colorist, which colorist books. So, yeah. We got two. Whoops, wrong way. This way. It's, it's, I got to remember it's opposite in the camera. Let's see. Let's move this back a little. Hang on, guys. Let me straighten up the camera here. There we go. That's better. Okay. Hi. Hi, Terry. How you doing? Oh, special effects. Oh, okay. Special effects. Yeah. Don't you like them? Have you looked through them, Diana? Have you done anything in them? Hi, hi, CBC. Is that you are Heather, right? CBC. I think you changed your name. Hi, Tra. Is that Trouble Said? <laughs> I'm gonna go to my soundboard here. Say good morning to our Terry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I kept it kind of low. Sometimes I get it too loud. <laughs> Uh, hi, Ray D. Let's see. Uh, newbie Cheryl, which is now little sister Cheryl. Uh, yes. Um, yeah. Uh, CBC, are you Heather? Just loud enough. Yeah. Hi, Patricia. Happy hump day, everybody. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but they look great. Yeah, you want to do the eye? Yeah, there's. I have a video on that one. There's a video on the eye, Diane. I did that on camera. Hi, Carrie Ann. Yes, Heather. Okay. Diane, yeah, you come on like um, when, right when we're getting up, like 4.30 in the morning, 5. <laughs> Maybe even earlier, being in the UK. Uh, and I know Mary, all too... I know it's not pronounced that way, but I say it. Anyway, Mary is um, Mary uh, comes on really early, too, for some impromptus. The She was on this morning. I didn't get to make it. Sometimes I lurk while I'm getting ready for my stream. I didn't make it. Uh, I didn't get to walk in and say hi. Hi, Ian. 
Hi, Benny. Are you new, Benny? Welcome. I do have my window open and I hear people mowing out there. So we'll probably hear yard work from down the street. Hi, Annie B. I think Annie, Aunt, Aunt B has a new video up too, I think. Hi, Amy. There's Melody. Thank you so much, Melody, for our books. Melody gift is now. I don't know. Y'all are gonna have to tell me what this is. Does anybody know what the translation is from Swedish? Um, where's my pen? I need a pen. Oh, I don't, does anybody got a pen? I don't. I don't know where a pen is. <laughs> I'm so. I'm so bad, aren't I? <laughs> um. Soar at animal. Um, oh, spirit animal. Oh, spirit animal. Okay. I was going to soar at animal. <laughs> spirit animal. Okay. Here come the cats. <clears throat> so we will put that in here. This one's my copy. I got all my stuff in the back. Oh, no. This one's my copy with my stuff in the back from Melody. Did come with some stickers. Let's see here. The stickers. I keep the little packaging. It's so pretty. Okay, baby. You can't go over by the cords. Can't be by the cords. You can stay right there. Uh, little stickers came with it. Aren't they cute? Yes, but they want to get to the cords. They will disconnect me, guys. He will disconnect me and unplug the unplug the uh, <laughs> microphone. Um, happy birthday, Mama Four. So anyway, yeah, this one will be my copy, and it's a spirit animal. Okay, thank you. Oh, my gosh. Look, his big butt. Got a big butt right there. Yes, what are you chewing on? Oh, you're chewing on the end of uh, Phil. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know either, Cheryl. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. So, yeah, we got our big boy here. And I know I'm shaking the camera when I do that. <laughs> He's chewing on the end of Phil. but Because I have Phil attached. I have him attached to, well, I can't show you right now. <laughs> He's playing with it. Yeah. Hi, Janet. Yeah, he's got a big chunk butt. I call him chunk butt. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they're right at two years old. So, they're still babies, though. They still play. Yeah, they still play. And uh, I don't really want to move the camera. I just got to right in the right position. Here, let's do this. You want to chew on that? Come here. Come here. You want to play with that? Here. Here. There. The end, of, I have Phil attached to a uh, paint, ouch, a paintbrush. And so he's playing with that paintbrush. Oh, oh, let go, let go, let go, let go. Here. <laughs> Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, May. Hi, DeMonte. Um, Maraki. Maraki. Joey. Who else? Hey, Taps. I haven't seen you around for a while. How you been? Taps Ghost Lover. Hi. Hey, AJ. Christy, uh, Christine G. And Christine. Or Christina. CL. Christina. Um, Connie. Hi, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Oh, look at all the thumbs up already. Thanks, guys. Yeah, he's going to town on that for sure. <laughs> Ah, uh, Gene, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, but, well, he's not really bothering Mike. He's chewing on the paintbrush. He's attached to a paintbrush. All right, hang on. Let me get him back for you there. Here, here. You want that? And he's he's chewing on the paintbrush end. Christine, okay. I didn't know if it was Christine or Christina. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Big boy. You're just a... You're just a character. Why don't you fling it down on the floor? Fling it down on the floor and play with it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Hi, Kenny. Let's see. Queen Sassy, Benny. I know I'm missing people. Amanda. Amanda. Um, yeah, he's excited. It's hump day. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah. Now, now, what is it, big guy? No, ma Mama doesn't want to be bitten. She'll pet you for a minute. 
let's just chill. Soft kitty. <laughs> He's not in any mood to sleep. Ah, uh, no, be nice. Be nice. You got sleepy in your eyes. You got some sleepy in your eyes. <laughs> Here. Um, I have hi Rock. <laughs> hi, Mark. Oh my gosh. And now here comes the other one. You want to come up here too? You want to come up here and say good morning while we're saying good morning to everybody? So yeah. Um, yeah, Melody sent us Melody sent me one and one for a giveaway. Now I'm not gonna give it away today because I got a pile of stuff to give away. I have to ship out on Saturday. So it'll be probably next week. Probably next week we'll do a giveaway. <clears throat> because I do, I go, I ship international too, guys. And so, you know, and ask Melody. She knows she ships all this international. Um, it the, it's, can be the cost of the book. And um, yeah, I'm going to show it. I'm going to show the book. And uh, so... There you go. You're going to leave now? Are you done? Give me my phone. Can't, whoops. Nope. Can't have my phone. Um, yeah, it's expensive because I, I allow for international. So I have to allow money for international. And sometimes it, you know, it can cost a book can cost 20 bucks or more. So it's not available on Amazon until August. Wow. Queen. I did not know that. Well, next week will be plenty soon enough, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Oliver, you want to play with that? Here. There you go. That's what it says? Okay. So, yeah, Melody sent me one and gifted us one. So, And I will do a flip and we'll do a little color in it. Maybe we'll do some watercolor with pencil. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of times it is more than the shipping is more than the book if it's international. So, uh, yeah. I know Melody's so sweet, isn't she? She's always so generous with us and, and uh, gives us plenty to share. She always gives us plenty to share. And I hope little Rex is doing okay, Melody. I asked you in message and you didn't answer me about Rex. So, I, I, I you know... If y'all remember, we drew we drew Rex for Melody one day. Okay, let's see. Let's move this over a little here. All right, he jumped down, so we might be good. So yeah, um, I need that pen. So we're gonna flip through that. Um, Janet and I are now reading 1984. Janet, you still here? Yeah, there she is. Um, I pulled out my old copy here, my old copy from 1949, I think it is. Let's see. 1949. Yeah, 19, my copy's from 1949. It's it's old, guys. I mean, I probably read it back in, you know, like I said, it's been probably 40 years since I read it. So um, Janet and I, she read it. She's read it, too. You're on chapter four. I am I got through chapter one and the um, appendix, the language appendix. Did you read the language appendix? You have to read the language appendix, Janet. When's the test? <laughs> Hi, happy hump day, Laura. Um, the cat has Phil. <laughs> Phil has been captured by the cat on the floor. So, uh, yeah, well, <laughs> happy hump day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks, everybody, for being here and all the thumbs up. Thanks, guys. I'm doing, a, oh, yeah, but you got to do the uh, appendix because it explains the, you know, it, it explains the, um, you know, the lang the speak, the news speak. <clears throat> the back, the appendix has um all about news speak. You gotta you gotta get caught up on news speak. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, Jan and I are reading that. That's what I'm doing also. Then um and I've been doing a little sketching. I, I love I like either of these masters touch sketchbooks. There's also um Draw there's sketchbooks, and then I also like the Canson Mixed Media, and I also like the Stan Sanford or what is it? Stan, what is it? Um, what is it called? Um, 
Hang on, this one. I have the drawing and, oh, I took the covers off, the, uh, the sketch. I took the main cover off. Strathmore, Strathmore. I just put that on there. Um, uh, the, the Strathmore sketch. So I like those. Uh, so I, I sketch in all those plus whatever's handy. So anyway, and I always get these 50% off. Double, I'm going to start saying double. <laughs> Janet. Uh, so I did a few little sketches. So because of um, Easter, I just, this is a new, this is a new one. So I only just have a few things in it. Well, I did do some little mushrooms. So I just sketch, I just look up things on, um, you know, Google images or Pinterest. And so I did some mushrooms. I did a rooster and some chicks. Did these little chicks and uh, I sent these to mom. I, well, I sent a picture of this to mom. So yeah, here's uh, here's my little roosters. And they're just little sketches that I, I do with my, um, my uh, what do you call it? What, what, no, no, don't get up. No, no, get down. My grab gear. <laughs> grab gear. Oh my gosh. And so yeah. And they're all they're all images from Google. I just yeah, you know, I just do them for myself, you know, just to keep keep practicing. And then I did some little pigs. I love drawing little pig butts. They're so cute. So I did some little pigs, some little bunnies. And uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's all. That's all I did. So I drew these all yesterday. And um, and read a chapter and well actually in and the appendix so a couple chapters in 1984 and did uh, house stuff yeah laundry and you know usual stuff so today hopefully after um, after stream I'm gonna get out of the house <laughs> I'm gonna get out of the house today let's go ahead and zoom in one here maybe even one more. Don't want to get too. Want to be able to see it. So yeah, good. yeah, Terry. Yeah, and uh, I really want to get back into walking, but it, you know, Hubster walks at four thirty in the morning. I don't do that. I don't walk at four thirty in the morning. <laughs> uh, oh, I draw people all the time, Sean. You haven't seen any of my people. You you gonna make me bust out some people? All right, I'm gonna bust out some people, Sean. <laughs> Do I draw people? <laughs> Let's see here. All right, Sean. You haven't been around long, have you? Okay. Well, here's here's one. Here's these are the guys from Oak Island. Do you know Oak? Do you, do you watch Oak Island? There's the guys from Oak Island. Yeah, I'm getting the people out. <laughs> Let's see what else. Um, I won't get them all. I won't get them all out here. I'll just pull out these. And then, of course, I have all my um, Gold Rush guys. I won't pull all those out. Maybe one here. Here's here's uh, Grandpa from Gold Rush. There's Grandpa. What else? Um, oh, here's Tony. Here's Tony and Monica. Hang on. And then here's Todd. Todd and his dad. Let's see. This is another. This is Rick. There's Rick. What else? There's Cheese Man. Uh, I'm just pulling out a few here, guys. Let's see. Um, there's Parker. A uh, Parker and Parker's dog. Uh, Sean's in here. Hang on. There's a. There's another one of the, these. Are all the Gold Rush guys? Oh, here's Parker's dog. And then uh, here's one of the Gold Rush guys. This guy's pa since passed away. So there's some of the Gold Rush ones. Let me put these away though because I have them in. I have them in separate. Separate spots so I can keep them organized. Yeah, Sean, Sean's new. <laughs> Let's see. Um, what else? Where's my? Uh, let me find Rick and. Uh, let me find Rick and Glenn. Everybody knows Rick and Glenn. If I can find them. Oh wait, wait here. There's Doc. Oh, here we go. Here's Glenn. There's Glenn. There's Rick. Spock. What else? Um, I'm just kind of. Well, if y'all follow any YouTubers, there's Will Terry. Here is uh, Mistel. 
Who else do I have in here? I got tons. Oh, here's Sean. There's Sean Connery. If y'all follow the History Channel, <clears throat> some of the guys from the History Channel. And then I do a lot of actors. Um, yeah, Daryl was in there, Taps. I do a lot of actors for Hubster. Oh, here's Miss Vicky. There's Miss Vicky B. There's um, um, Shannon, Shannon Green. This is a guy from Sketchy. There's Brad. There's Nichelle Nichols. Let's see what else do I have in here. Flipping, flipping. Um, Doug to Naples. Um, oh, here's uh, this is an old one of Bailey. This is from 2015. That's Bailey J when, when she had blonde hair. Let's see. Gazbot. And then I got a lot from Sketchy. And I've talked about Sketchy before. Um, these are these are people from the Sketchy app where you they, they post pictures of themselves for you to draw. <clears throat> and so this guy drew was on uh, jury duty. Let's see who else is in here. Let's see. Let me pick out some of the ones I really like. I really like her. I really like him. <laughs> Let's see. We'll have to look up Oak on the, Oak Island. Yeah, Oak Island. This is the other one we drew on. I drew this on uh, jury duty back in 2016. So anyway, there's some of my faces. There you go, Sean. There's some of my faces. Hi, Teresa. So yeah, I do draw faces and I do portrait commissions. At the moment, I'm not doing new ones. Oh, here's some of my little ones. These are some, here's some of my little ones. These are just like uh, five by, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Five by sevens. And then I have some random things in there. <clears throat> Let's see. So these are random. I'm just flipping through them because I flip through these a lot. Um, <laughs> I love her. Random dog there. Let's see what else. There's Packer Die. Um, being made a coloring path of the Coloring page. I'm being made. You're being made into a coloring page. Oh, awesome! This is one of my favorites because I drew the light in her eyes with the selfie stick. You can't really see it very well in person, but she's one of my favorites. <clears throat> I like her too. But anyway, so there's some there's some of my uh, little little sketches. So you're being made into a coloring page. Where, Sean? Hi, Jeanette. I'm putting off hitting the yoga mat. Oh, Loretta. <laughs> Thanks, Molly, Millie, Millie. I know I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, I draw. I've drawn faces. I do color pencil. Those are all color pencil with maybe in the hair some acrylic or some of the clothes has acrylic. But all the faces are color pencil. Um, oh, I don't think I've ever heard of that person, um, Sean. Hey, Loretta. Hey, Scoops. I just saw you. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to flip through this book and we'll do a little coloring in it. How long we've we been here? Okay, we're almost time to start. For those y'all just joining us, I usually spend about 30 minutes or 20 to 30 minutes just saying good morning to everybody coming in, <coughs> saying hi. 
Um, and, uh, and before we get started on any, any projects, hi, Grace. I think I said hi to Gracelyn. So hi, Wendy, Benny. Who else am I missing? I said, let's see, Marie. Hi, Marie. Bridget. Uh, Bri Bridget Brigitta. 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 You have to say that with some, you know, oomph. <laughs> hi, Dragon. Donna. Hi, Kathy. Sandra in Germany. So, yeah. Okay, so let me move all that uh, out of the way. Let's see, Katie. <coughs> I'm going to sip a juice here. My name is pronounced me, then the Lily. Okay, me, Lily. Me, Lily. Me Lee Lee. That's pretty. It sounds Hawaiian. Hi, Rick. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started, guys. Let me move all my pencils out of the way. My pencils and pens. Oh, you know what? I forgot to show you. I just saw my some of my parallel pens here. Reminded me that I got refills for those. So when I got refills of those, I also bought I bought the uh from Jet Pens. I bought the uh, turquoise set. These are, um, if y'all don't know Jet Pins, they have like every month, I think, or maybe every few weeks, couple weeks, they do a color theme. Like they'll do all pink, all blue, all teal, all purple, and they'll do all the same color of different brands of pins. And so, yeah, I got uh, a whole set of the teal colors. And uh, I think, let's see, is it, no, it wasn't that. Which are the two, my two favorites? The Pilot, I think the Pilot G2, uh, what is it? The Pilot G207, that was a good one. Um, that one was okay. The Pilot G Tech C4, that one writes really thin. That's one of Janet's favorites, the, C, the Pilot G Tech C4. That's very thin writing. And then, what's my favorite? Was it this one? No, that wasn't it. I think it was this one. Then I have this one is the um, Sar Sarasa. That one wasn't one of my favorites. The Paper Mate Ink Joy Medium Point. I like that one. This one was a medium point. So, um, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I sent you a pre... A Preview the image for when you get it. Okay, all right, thank you. And so anyway, uh, the and they're they're really inexpensive for a whole set of pins. And uh, again, you can get a you know colors that just a color you like. I just went with the turquoise color. So um, yeah. All right, then let's see. There's just a pin to write. Where's my post-it note? Here it is. So that I have to take any notes. My fingernail polish today is Sally Hansen Wedding Glitters. This is a color that I got on today. Yeah, nothing, no, no, no fancy nails here, just polish. <laughs> I like to polish them when I feel naked. Um, let's see. Oh, it's African meaning eternal infinite. Oh, okay. The Lee and Lee Edder, so Lily. Okay. That's pretty. That's very pretty. Um, let's see. Graceland. What does a beautiful book come out? Um, they're saying Graceland that it comes out in August. Miss Melody sent us uh, to uh, sent me a copy and a copy for a giveaway. Let me move some of these because make a shadow. Okay. So, um, yeah. Let me use my, I'm going to put one aside because that'll be for a giveaway. I'm not giving it away today, guys. I've already got a pile of internationals that has to go out. So um, it'll be next week. Have to be next week um, or maybe the week after. <clears throat> okay. So I think we can zoom in a little more. See, that's pretty good right there, I think. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> so apparently I, uh, they said it's called spirit animal. That's what that is. I guess I'm sh that's Swedish, right? She's, uh, Hannah Carlson, Swedish, Swedish girl. <clears throat> so we're going to show a flip through of the book. Let's get it right there. Right in the I think that was pretty that looks pretty good as far as brightness maybe just a tad brighter just a tad brighter there i think that's good i think we're focused she's swedish and you yeah i laura yeah she's uh she's i i love her books and we've colored in quite a few of them so we're going to color in this one today too and so i'm just going to do a flip here guys so you can see Get excited. Get excited to uh, get it when it comes out. Melody got it from, uh, you got it from Cool Craft, right? Melody on Etsy. And she, it took, it, it took a good month and a half. Did it take a month, a month and a half? To a photo of Black Hole, guess what? <laughs> Brother Ian. <laughs> Ian, you're such a character. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what um oh Melody got hers from print works. Uh they don't send to the US. So she ordered it from Cool Craft. And if y'all ever order from either Cool Craft or 7D East, those two are good. They and it, but if they come from Korea or overseas, they're gonna take a while to get here, guys. So just be aware. Now, somebody said that it comes out in August on, on Amazon. Okay, so I, I don't have any links for you or anything like that. So look, you know, look on, on uh, Cool Craft on Etsy. Just go on Etsy. Put in Hannah Carlson. Hi, jo uh, Jonah, Jonna. And, um, okay. Thank you, Terry. It, oh, okay, so Terry has it on Amazon, but what does it say when it comes out? Does it come out in, um, oh, it means soulmates, Pamela? That's what this means, soulmates? All right, well, let me put both things. Spirit animal and soulmates. Okay. April through Amazon France. Okay. Yeah. So y'all just have to check guys. Just look around. I don't know which one I'm going to do today. I like this fish though. I like this. It's like a, is that a carp? <laughs> oh, look at the little um, ferret. You got yours a while ago, Marie. The reindeer. The U.S. edition through Gib Smith is out in August, but the Swedish version is out now through 70 East and Cool Crap. Yeah. Yeah. Christine. Okay. So you can get, it. yeah, because that's where Melody got mine. She got mine on Cool Craft. So you can get it on Cool Craft. And I love the Octo. I like the octo too, but I do a lot of octo octopi. One side is the person, the other is the animal. Yeah. Bye, Kathy. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, Kathy, you enabled me, by the way, on one of your videos. You enabled me. So I have something coming that you enabled me on. I'm not going to say what it is. I think it'll be here probably, what day is it? It could be here in the next day or two. So, yeah, Kathy enabled me. If y'all are hearing machinery out, there's people out there working in their yards. So you're going to hear lawn mowers and weed eaters and stuff like that. Yeah, you did. You did. I watched. I wasn't there uh, live. Uh, Kathy, I watched your recording. Hi, Gary. Hi, Lisa. And I like her, too. But this looks, it kind of reminds me of Christmas and winter. Of course, you know, I love me a lemur. Lemur is my um, 
I wouldn't call it my spirit animal, but my <laughs> lemur is my um, one of my uh, favorite animals to draw and put in uh, my headers and banners. Do you know why it's soulmates or animal spirits? Look again at the picture. Look again at the picture. This one. <clears throat> what's wrong with those people don't they know you're doing a lot <laughs> see it doesn't bother me and one of my other people shows one of my other people streams live shows and there's yard work or trucks or a plane it doesn't bother me it's just like hey that's what happens when you're streaming live things are going on oh the pages are opposite each other oh yeah so there's like the person and the animal yeah gotcha yeah Hi, Lisa. I'm sure I'm missing. Yeah, look at I like the horse and the and the knight. Yeah. She's like a Joan of Arc. I'll be cranking up the mola later today. Nothing changes for the second time this year. It's warm so fast, it's hard to keep ahead. Oh, I like these too. I like the, um, you know, like the Queen of Hearts and the uh, Alice in Wonderland theme here. Yeah, the pages go together, right? One's a spirit animal and one's the person. Got it. I like these. I do like the. Oh, it's not a heart though. That that's a spade. Is oh, there's the Queen of Heart and the rabbit's a spade. I was I, I gotta remember because when I look in the camera, it's opposite, guys. Uh, the octopi will keep you occupied. <laughs> I do like this. I do like that. Mm. We'll see. I have to also think of time. You know, we only, with however much we can get done in two hours, which we probably will not finish. You know, that one's cool. But that's, again, that's going to take quite a while. But you got to do them both, right? You have to do both sides. And look how she's like leopard with her side, the side shave. And the leopard, that will be a fun one to do. I will really like to do this one. Hmm. Might have to, I might have to at least do, I might have to do her. <laughs> uh, uh, <clears throat> so y'all excited about this book? Then fish, and of course she's got her scales. And uh, yeah, it's a little lizard. It's got a little chain on it. Why like she's chained or a little dragon chained to her. She can't get away. <laughs> and the rooster. And see how her hair has the feathers. Yeah. And then a dragon. And uh, a parrot, pirate, and a parrot. And then this is like a dream catcher. <clears throat> So anyway, guys, I'm going to do a flip for you. And I do keep my hand on the picture. I try to do that anytime I do a flip so that you can't, you know, people, not you guys, but anybody, so they can't copy the picture. It's got, you know, <laughs> unless they want, the, they want the hand on there. And then there's a steampunk girl. I like the steampunk girl because she's got this leather thing on there. Of course, she's got going to have a green glass. You know, that's a, that would be a fun one with uh, like a mech, a mech moth. Uh, yeah, <laughs> here come the cats again. <clears throat> There's a little Oliver. Well, I say, look, no, you can't go over there. Malibu's sitting on the other side of, they're both up here on the desk. There you go, big guy. There you go. So, yeah, there we go. I think that's that's it. Oh, there's the end. So I have to decide what I want to color. And I, we might start with some watercolor. The Steampunk Girl is really popular on, Insta on Instagram. Okay, well, then we won't do that one. <laughs> we'll do something different. Um, let's see here. I really like her. I'd have to look up the cheetah. 
pattern to get the colors right. I like this. What do y'all think? That would be a challenge. Hi, Passionista. Maybe that one. I like a couple. Of, like, I love this. Um, I just don't think we're going to, we can get through that. Well, we probably won't get through this. Either. We could get through one side. The feisty cheetah girl. Yeah, and I love this. I love them all. I mean, there's, there's lots of them that I'm a fan of. I love the um, I love the lemur, but y'all see me draw lemurs all the time and color them. So there's the bat girl, um, girl with bat. Let's see. There's the octo, and I do lots of octo. So it might be might be the cheetah girl. Might be rolling with her. I do like the fish. Um. Okay, we'll go with the we'll go with the cheetah. We'll go with her. Because I don't think I can get done with two pages. Well, I know I can't. Let me look up a cheetah for the colors. Um, cheetah. Yeah, I thought that was a good one. Okay, so let's see. Images. Let's find some colors here. Um. Some of them are very golden, and then some of them are kind of, let's pick that one. What other one? Um, this one's a little more golden. Kind of like the golden cheetah. Um, you know, just for color. It gives it more, um, gives it more color. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to do start with the watercolor. That's what I'm going to do. So uh, let's see. All righty. We'll go with the golden color. All right. That's probably enough. I just need, I just need the colors. All right. Okay, so let me get out some watercolor. Look, all right, I'm going to move the camera just so y'all can see. Look. Now he sees me moving the camera. Don't get any ideas there. Don't get any ideas, Oliver. All right, well, I'm going to do watercolor. Okay, so let's see. Do I just want to use my Jane Davenport? Maybe I'll just use my Jane Davenport. And, of course, I have my, I have my gold here if we need that. I could use Neo Colors, but I think I'll just go with watercolors. Let's just go. Let's just roll with that. All right, let me get a water brush. Sorry, I got water in there. got a little bit. Of, you want to paint? You want to paint? All right. So let's see. <laughs> um, do, 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 do you or did you have ginger girl? I don't know what that is. Never heard. I, I mean, if, if, if it's a different language and different name, I don't know. Ginger girl. Okay. So we'll just do this like this. If the cat will let us. All right. So let me move my gold out of the way. Let's see. I want to get a nice... Um, Remember, guys, if you ask me any questions, put them in caps. Hi, BDI Beth. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to do the. I'm not going to do him today. We don't have time, so we're just going to do. We're just going to do her. Okay, so I kind of like that yellow ochre. All right, let me get my water and spray these down. <laughs> Oliver just backed his face up, like what, what, what. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know what that, uh, is that a name of a book or something? Ginger Girl and Ginger Cat? I don't know. Or are you talking about this? Okay, so let's see. I am going to start with a nice, let's do a nice creamy wash here. I, I guess I don't really need it in here. I can move these out until I get to them. 
this is just so if I need um, need more of a palette, but this will this will be good right here. All right, so let's uh, let's see what we're gonna do here. Let's start with the face here. It's gonna go over the whole thing. And now again, I don't want to over the paper is pretty thick, but I still don't want to oversaturate. But I'll go right over like the little pen, the little um. Let's see, I need some more water here. Over the, you know, earrings and all that. Some in the hair, just around the edge, because you are going to see some of her hair, skin through the hair. Anyway, don't oversaturate your paper. It's best if you want another layer to, um, if you want another layer to dry, dry the layer, and then go back. Oh, wait, got a question. Did she mean you have an orange cat? No, do, do I have an orange cat? No, I got two white cats. Okay, so let's just get a base coat here. And it will buckle a little bit, guys. And if you don't like any buckling at all, then don't use water-soluble medium in your... I'm just going to go over the whole thing as a base. Now, when I turn on the when I turn on the uh, heat gun, they might both leave. Not that I want them to leave, but I'm just saying when I turn on the heat gun, they might scatter. Okay. <clears throat> oh wait, what? I'm missing something. Oh, sorry. I, I I I don't know what that is. Sorry, guys. I try to keep up with you and keep on track here. Okay. And Malibu is still sitting there. All of us said, eh, I'm going to go sit in the window. There she goes. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So let's see. Now I think I want, I'm just going to go with my Janes today. Do I want... Let's see what color this blue is here first. Let's see. Is that too? That's too turquoise, I think. Yeah. I want my the ink color. Which one is that in? Uh, not the raven, but uh, maybe it is the raven. Let's see what this one is. Is that black? Okay, that's, that's it. That's it there. It's kind of an indigo blue. I want that indigo blue. I'm going to have to go get some more water in my brush, I think. Okay, so to get the jacket and the hair. Uh, would you mind painting her dark skin? Um, yeah, she's going to have a golden and brown skin because um, that's the color of a cheetah. She's going to be the color of a cheetah. So she is going to be a, uh, not really, she'll be a dark brown girl. Yeah. Um, I have some, I have some videos. Um, I have videos on uh, dark skin both coloring and drawing them did you were you here when you just saw my pictures of my girls that i drew from sketchy um, there's one this is just color pencil though Okay. Let's see. All right, let's get a little thing kind of right over her skin there. The hair, I think I'll go ahead and do her hair um, blue with uh, gold stars. So I probably. I think I'm just going to go ahead. Let me put it. Wait, let me put a paper behind. <coughs> okay, I'm going to put a paper behind so I can go right off the edge. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to kind of go around the stars, but I'll just, I'm going to go over them in gold so it really won't matter. And I think I'll do the background. I might do the background black so then it doesn't matter if I go over the edges of her where the hair ends if I paint it out black. All right. So let me just go ahead and go over the whole thing. Okay. 
Okay, and then same thing for her jacket. I'm going to use the same color. I think I'll have leather, brown leather trim, silver, silver um, stub, stub, nub, stubs, spikes, <laughs> silver spikes, silver jewelry. And then this little trim on here will be brown leather. So I'm not looking at chat as much now, guys, because I got to concentrate a little. Can y'all see okay? Laura just finished watercolor doodle. Oh, thanks, Laura. Laura put me on. She's, she put me on her. Um, Laura has a group if y'all want to. Uh, if you like the circle. Well, if you like Laura's art or the Circle Portraits book, Laura has a Facebook group. And uh, I, I got out of a lot of groups, especially the I, the famous people. Not that Laura's not famous, but you know what I mean. Like Kirby and uh, Jasmine and all those. I, I just didn't have time to post in them, and I don't like I don't like being in people's groups if I can't do something in them post in them and like other people's art. And I just wasn't having any time for Facebook groups. So um, I'm in very few anymore because I just don't have time to, you know, keep up. You know, if you're in Kirby's group, you feel like you should at least do a, um, thanks, Terry. If you're in Kirby's group, you feel like you ought to at least post once a month in Kirby's. Well, I, don't, I can't guarantee that, you know. Um, thanks, Laura. Uh, I can't guarantee I'm going to, you know, <laughs> post every month squeeze a little water out here so uh let's, let me get a kleenex that's a little too much water let me get a little off of there <clears throat> still too much water i squeezed out too much And so, uh, you know, you feel like if you're in a group, you should at least participate some. I don't remember the last time I colored a Jasmine page. Probably last Halloween, maybe. So. So if I can't, you know, post and, and like other people's stuff, and it's like, well, you know, it's kind of like pointless to be in the group. I mean, Jen reading with pugs, even though Jen's kind of backed off from being in it too because she's got so much, you know, things going on in life. Um, you know, guys, I'm really... You know, I'm trying to glance up at chat and see if there's anything in caps. But, uh, so thanks again, Melody, for sending us these books. We love our Hannah Carl's on. I think I used to be in her group, too. <laughs> Just so many groups, so little time. So many color books, so little time. And I work at my art all day. So, you know, people that don't have all day to do their art, you know, they're even more limited, right? I think I'll do this sleeve here. No, I think I'll do that black. I want that darker. Oh, y'all are welcome. And again, I, I mean, like if I go six months and I'm not posting in Laura's, I mean, I'll feel bad. <laughs> You know, all right, so let's see. Let's go back over here to this raven. This is kind of a black. Let's see. I'm going to kind of go with the black and the blue. Let's mix a little of both. So it's kind of a midnight. Let's add a little water. Just a little there. So that this, this part can be darker. Rest of the jacket. And then we'll go back with pencil. 
probably some gel pins on the spikes, you know, the silver parts. I'll do the background with black acrylic paint. That's what I, if, if you want to paint a background and add stars and a nebula and planets and all that, it, it, you know, it's just acrylic paint is awesome for um, going over. You know, I've shown you all the examples. Do I need to show you all that again? Hang on. I, got, I think I kept it up there. I always try to show it. Let's get this done. Kind of look at like a shiny leather here. Something like that. There we go. Keep it kind of modelly looking. And if again, if you want it darker, you can let it dry or hit it with the heat gun because otherwise, it's not the it's not the paint that goes through your paper. It's the water. Hi, Molly. Uh, let's see. Do I keep it? I used to have it right up here. Maybe, maybe I put it in here. No, what would I do with it? Well, I'm gonna. I'll get out the. I'm getting out the black acrylic paint, so I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so let's go ahead and add. Let me get my little cheetah picture back up here. So, decide which color, orangey color. Um, okay, so usually the cheetah spots are brown, but I want a golden two or two. So let's let's dry. Can kind of pull on the page to get out a little bit of the buckling kind of pop it out from behind it does buckle a little guys but see it just doesn't bother me and by the time you do the reverse the page there's you won't even see any okay so let's see let's go ahead and let me look at my colors here uh, let's move a little spot right here Let's wet this down. I'm going to spray it, but not right over the book. All right. So I think I want this brown. Sorry about all the clanging, but, you know, just look at it as an ASMR. A loud, we're a loud ASMR. <laughs> no, it's not going to soak through the back. It doesn't soak through. This paper's pretty thick. As, unless you get the, it's the water. If you get your page too wet, then it's going to start soaking through. So that's why you dry between layers. Now, none of, none of it's transferring with water, a uh, color. Uh, I've never used any jam from this. Um, I like her. I like her little watercolor palettes. I haven't used them that much. I do have her mermaid markers. But if you use her mermaid markers, I usually use them as watercolor. And I squeeze them out onto a, onto a palette because they can splat. Don't try to open these up and just use them. You might have a mess. Uh, but they're very, very concentrated. Her mermaid markers. But my favorite of her stuff is her little watercolors. Her little watercolor palette. She has three of them out. And uh, I really like them. Just for this kind of thing. I don't do big watercolor paintings. You know, I'm not Ian here. <laughs> I'm doing watercolor paintings. Um... Yeah, and always use, that's true, Devin, always uh, find, use a test page. I mean, I know Hannah's paper because I have her other books, but you do want to go to the back and use it, you find a test page to test out whatever, whatever you, um, I like the little houses that the watercolors are in. <laughs> You mean the little tins? Oh, my gosh. Oh, Janet. Okay, so I'm going to get some dark brown, and we're going to do the cheetah spots. Now, I could probably, you know, I think I could probably do that with pencil a lot easier. Let's just go ahead. Let me dry that. And I think I'm going to go ahead and just do a golden wash over her to start. I'll do the, I'll do the cheetah spots with uh, pencil. Okay, let me clean this off now. I want kind of a golden, a little bit more like this yellow ochre here. Yeah, this is loud ASMR. <laughs> okay, so I am going to kind of shade her. That's a little too thick. I'm going to kind of shade. Hmm. 
Need a little bit more water. I want a little thinner. <clears throat> so we have a couple shades of golden color. And then the spots. The spots will go with brown. <clears throat> yes, baby. That's too much. Let's swipe that up. It's going to be the chain there. Nope, nope, nope. Can't get on my paints. It's going to stay on that side. Stay on that side, baby. All right, that'll be a start. Um, let's go ahead and do the blue. Let's do a blue eyebrow. Probably has some blue eyeshadow too. We'll do most of this with pencil. Okay, let's see. Nothing going on in chat. Okay, so let me dry this. You gonna sit there? Can you see him right there? This is a little pot. Oh, no, you can't see him. <laughs> he doesn't like that. <laughs> it probably got a little hot. Okay, so let's move all the watercolors for a moment. Don't get in that, baby. You'll get your little paws colorful. All right, so let's come back over here. All right, now let's uh, put down the water brush. There's a heat gun. Let's get a little acrylic paint. All right. Let's see. Hi, G. Who else am I going to say hi to that I missed? All right, so I'm going to put out a little black paint. And I do. you do want to make sure you have a paper behind here, right? All right, let's see. Let me get a little angle brush or something. Yeah. Oh, I need a small one too for in tight places. Here we go. No, don't want that one. Okay, here we go. Just a little flat. Get it wet. Okay. Cat's looking at me and watching every move I make. All right. Um, let's go ahead and start with this one. Let's get it wet. All right. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to turn it upside down, guys. I don't usually like to do that, but I have to kind of, this is kind of tight, and I need to get in here. So I'm going to turn it upside down. All right. We could probably zoom in a little. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I usually don't let the cats in here if there's anything that they could get into. But they're being pretty good today. They're being pretty good today, big guy. Yeah. Just roll my brush out like that to get a point. So yeah, I got a lot of yard work done this last weekend. We had someone come and trim our trees. And then uh, Hubster and I put out all the um, the red uh, barky stuff around the islands. And uh, we have bulbs planted out there. Come, Their perennials come back every year. And then uh, they come right through the, they'll come right up through the, uh, what do you call it? Okay, I can turn my phone off for a minute. I'm not using the color palette there. Um, I got to put my garden, or I got to clean the garden out this weekend and probably plant it the next weekend, like Easter weekend. I do it then. I'm going to try to get up to Denise's. Let 
visit uh, visit them. No more pink. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it wasn't pink. I think they got in. Um, Malibu got into the pan pastels, and she was yellow, blue, and um, yellow, blue, and well, a little bit of reddish pink. But she was. Uh, it took like a month to get all that out of her fur. So, hi, Natalie. I said hi to Wendy. Hi, Great. Bella. And anybody else I missed. Not trying to uh, miss you guys. Um, so, I, we, do, we don't plant too much. We only usually plant stuff that we're going to eat. You know, cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers, you know, things that we are, we know we're going to eat because you always get a lot most years. Some years you don't get, you know, good vegetables. I, I don't have good luck with squash here in Georgia or in uh, Atlanta area in the red clay. I don't think a lot of people have trouble with squash. But uh, I say red clay. It's all it's all dirty there. <laughs> I, in the base of underneath, underneath my br uh, brown bags of topsoil and um, uh, vegetable dirt, uh, uh, the base of my ground is uh, Georgia clay, which you know that all all those nutrients seep up. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying, Megan. My vegetable garden. Um, but in the front yard, we got the two little islands done. Well, they're not really that little. And then the the garden all across the front. Well, here I took some. I posted them on Twitter, but not all of y'all are on. Uh, not all of y'all are on uh, Twitter. So hang on, I'll show you the pictures. Um. Okay, so this is just like this. Let me turn down the lighting so it shows up on my phone. So this is well. I guess I can turn it back up again. <laughs> Sometimes the lighting is okay. So this is right along the side of the front of my house. It's long. I just took a close up. This is my rose bush right there. These are little white roses. Denise got me these uh, two bushes when they were just tiny little plants. And I've grown those, had those for about 10, 15 years. Then I planted some sod. Well, I say we did it together. Uh, got some more sod in the front yard. Uh, and then here's the before and after the garden. So here is along the front of my house. It goes like, you know, that way. But there's there's along the front of the house with all the weeds in it. And then I did, this is what it looked like after. There's what it looked like after. And then let's see what else. And then here's my garden that has to be done. This is let this is the this is what the garden looks like now. There's my um it's it's the size of a railroad tie. So what is that? 10 foot by 10 foot? Something like that. That's in the backyard. That's my garden in the backyard. So I'll show you the after when I get that done. And then here's Hubster in the backyard we uh spreading weed and feed. Oh, let's see what else. Oh, here's the islands. So here's the two little islands in the front of my house. There's my bird bath. And, and when I have the tree trim guy trim the trees, I said, don't trim that one branch where the bird feeder. I know it's an odd looking limb, but don't trim that off because that's the bird feeder hanger thing. So, and then this is all that red bark stuff. And then here's the other one. It's just plain, you know, there's nothing in there yet. So did all that last weekend, last Saturday, I should say. That was last Saturday's work. Oh, and then my grandson, Logan, out in L.A., he got a gold medal in his wrestling. He got gold medal in wrestling. <laughs> Eileen, hi, Eileen. Here's uh, here's one of the, let me edit this. Hang on, okay, let's crop this, uh, crop this down. Let's turn it sideways, man. There we go. This is the wrestling picture where he won his gold. Yeah, he won his gold medal. Uh, let's see. He does he does baseball and wrestling. Um, here's Denise and Boo when they're at the beach. That's my daughter, Denise. That's my granddaughter, Boo. 
And I gotta say, I still have not seen one single picture from Cameron <laughs> when they went to the beach. So I think that's pretty much caught y'all up on everything. Oh, and I know not everybody loves Rupert from, uh, but Janet, did you see this, Janet? Rupert and his wife are going to be on Amazing Race. Uh, April 17th, probably, it's probably going to come on right after, um, right after um, Survivor, I'm guessing. Thank you, guys. I think I'm guessing that they're going to come on right after um, Survivor. And I don't watch Amazing Race, but I'm going to watch it for this. Here's here's another picture of Boo. Let me cut out. Let me crop out her friend. Well, here, let's see. Let me just kind of. Yeah, there's my there's my Boo. She just turned sixteen. Um. Well, she's. I guess didn't just. Yeah, she's about 16 and a little a little past 16. And let's see what else do I have here. Um Logan um last time Cameron and and Hubster went out to visit Annie and Logan um they went to the Getty. They they always go to the Getty or you know they go to a museum. Well, anyway, Cam and Logan would go to the um room where you can draw yeah, we'll have to tweet for Rupert. Yeah, exactly, Janet. So anyway, um, Logan said, I miss Cameron when we I went to the Getty, but he was out sketching at the Getty. This is the same one that just won the gold medal in the wrestling. So he's out there sketching, um, like, and he missed Cameron. I mean, I don't know. This is probably not that interesting to everybody, but, you know, some of y'all have followed for nine years. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Keep y'all updated. All right. So let's go ahead. Now my brush is getting a little crusty here. <laughs> uh, let me let me get it cleaned out. Because the paint, the uh, acrylic paint starts to dry in there. There we go. You want it kind of inky. High color creativity. Hi, APG Jamie. Yeah, APG Jamie. She came, she's visited here before. And Denise came to visit. She and APG Jamie like became BFFs. When Paula came to visit, Denise and her became like BFFs. When uh, Darcy came to visit, her and Denise became BFFs. I said, Denise, stop stealing my online friends. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I used to watch it years ago when it first came out, Cheryl, but I haven't watched it in years and years so I, I just haven't watched amazing race in years and years but uh yeah if you're a survivor if you like the survivor show then you know who rupert is and you know you got to root for rupert the old pirate yeah so anyway but anyway i've had probably i don't know maybe eight people eight or so different people from that i've met online you know here in our group come visit me in person and anytime Denise is here, they all they all like Denise better than me. <laughs> I'm half teasing you, APG Jamie. <laughs> Denise, Denise is so funny though, guys. I mean, I you know I I have I like to have fun and I'm funny, but Denise is a, a hoot. If y'all have seen when she and I have done um, a clean out here in the studio. Or, uh, you know, when she's visited, she is so fun and funny. It just, she, I'm just laughing the whole time she's here, you know. <laughs> See, she does like Denise, though. Yeah, I know. I know, Jamie. Uh And then I'm going to use a silver gel pen for the stars and the, you know, I might, I might put one more coat, a dark, um, I think because I want the blue hair, but I want silver stars with maybe, mm, you know what, I could probably go with the Paul Rubens 
shimmer but i have this color and i know i love i love all the colors in the paul rubens but this is that mermaid color that uh zandra and by the way for those of y'all uh keeping up with zandra she did have her um knee replacement surgery and was out of the hospital and i have not heard from her today so i tweet she she tells me to tweet it out so she doesn't have to tweet everybody so oh, I need to wet this down. Just is kind of drying out just a little here. My my acrylic paint. It's not inky enough. So um, she's hoping to get out of the hospital on Friday. She's hoping to get out of the hospital. Yeah, stars and studs. Yeah. So, uh, but I want her head, side shave and the mohawk to be a little darker blue and I can do that with pencil too because we are going to go in here with pencil but I want the stars to be silver and her jewelry to be silver so I'll probably do that with gel pens <clears throat> oh you're welcome Terry I just you know it's just something to talk about some conversation do y'all have any summer travel plans anything you know a lot of people go to Disney and do all kinds of things I want to get a few like in between. Here, I'll get that with pencil. Um, Y'all have any summer travel plans? And and Terry, I need I need more pictures of your outdoors. You you um I know it's been winter, but you know I want to see more of your outdoor getting out pictures. Those are so good out in Oregon. I want pictures of Bigfoot, Terry. We need we need some pictures of Bigfoot. When are you when are you going to supply those? You're on the Mar Marner's Gamers game on Sunday. Bark in the park with the dog. Yeah, pictures. There we go, Terry. We'll have pictures with those. Yeah. I'm going to flip it back here in just a minute, guys. Let me just get in between these hairs. Let's see what else anybody's doing. Did you see the river pics from two days ago? Big water. Did I? If I didn't like it on Facebook, then I didn't see it, Terry. I saw something, but I don't remember if it was big water. I don't remember that. Anybody else? Terry, Terry the only one that's going to do anything for the rest of the summer? <laughs> Thanks for all the thumbs up, guys. <laughs> And thanks again, Melody, for this book. Again, guys, she sent an extra copy. I'm going to do it. No, I'm not going to do it today, but I am going to do a giveaway of a copy of this book. I'll try to do it next week. I'm, try, I'm trying to stick with one book a month, but it's, it's ending up being a lot more than that. Which, uh, you know, it's okay. <laughs> uh, damn, my, my sister is going to come over. For an art date. Oh, that'll be fun. Laura's going to travel in the area and do... Yeah, you said you're going to do plein air painting, uh, Laura. Laura, if y'all don't know, she does the... Uh, um, she does the Circle Portrait Color Book. And uh, that we've been coloring in lately. She does have a, she does have a uh, group on Facebook, if y'all uh, want to. She's... Uh, over there, um, I'm from Georgia, so I'll come back to visit, but I'm from Northeast Atlanta. Oh, okay, Megan. Devin, we're going to play with alcohol inks on Upo. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, Eileen would love that. Eileen and Janet. Well, I don't know about Janet on the Upo, but Eileen. I don't follow Eileen on Twitter. She posts some, Eileen does, she doesn't, she doesn't uh, video. But she does post over on Twitter some of her stuff. She loves her inks. Eileen's an ink lady. <laughs> She's an ink enabler. More Oregon this summer. I want to do some, um, I, I want to do more um, uh, metal detecting this summer. I mean, I, I, we've been wanting to do it and we just haven't had a chance. Hubster started in a different job. So uh, it's just been hard for us to get out and go places. And uh, he's helping. A, he's doing a, helping with a startup company. So it's been kind of hectic. 
well, I shouldn't say that's not really hectic. Just time, taking up time, time consuming. Have you ever colored on coloring card? I'm gonna try or lay on red card. Um, yeah. Um, I color on uh, I color on tone tan paper, but you mean colors? Not too often. I've done a few. I've, do, I've done a few portraits on uh, color different color card stock, but like um. Where's my, where's my recent Laura? I sent her the, I don't know if you saw my boy, the, well, the man, the steampunk man. What? One of the cats found a leaf. What, where did this come from? They brought it to me. Brought me this, brought me a toy. Oh my gosh. It's like, come play with this mama. I'll take them outside. We'll take them out on the harness. So Laura sent me some of her tone tan, um, that she does, I think she sells those separately. So I did this one. That's on tone tan. And uh, what else? Then the dandy, which I sent, I can't show you. Well, I can show you a photograph, but I sent that to Laura herself. But I do all my portraits, um, all my portraits that I do, that I just showed you a little while ago, those are all on tone tan, Strathmore tone tan paper. Yeah, I do all my um, portraits on tone tan paper. Occasionally, I'll do one on a, a a color, but not very often. I know, right, Cheryl? Oh, so anyway, back to Azandra. She is supposed to. Um, and I gotta wet this again just a little bit. She's supposed to be out of the hospital, hopefully on Friday. So, and on Sue's, I messaged her and she hasn't answered me yet. So I don't know how Sue's had, you know, neck surgery and uh, waiting to hear back. And has anybody else heard from Sue's? Who else are we always thinking about and going through some stuff right now very little water in my acrylic paint oh that's what I was going to show y'all uh, let me just get it because I I always keep it right here to show you but it's I must have moved it or something so let me get a little piece of paint right here um, <clears throat> there we go a little scrap paper I was using earlier when I put it all right, let's get another. I'll use the back of this envelope because this person's envelope was returned to me. Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, why it's why you want to uh, acrylic paint versus pencil. The benefits of acrylic paint. So I'll just set this aside and let this dry for a minute. And I'll show you in just a minute. Um, bye, bye, Sean. So if you want to see what what the benefit of um, the benefit of a uh, acrylic paint is in a background over color pencil. Hi, Calera. All right, let's just. Uh, I'm, I'm going to turn this over to get right up against that line here in a minute. Just kind of holding my breath right along the edge of her face here. There we go. How been? Hi, Susan. I hope y'all are doing well. I mean, I hope you're doing okay. I hope there's no nothing wrong that you haven't been around. That's what I mean. So. Like I said, I don't usually like to turn my pages upside down, but sometimes you have to. So, I'm going to get a bigger brush here in a minute, I think. Oops, stay in camera. Oh, 
Hi, Jean. Yeah, I got to do what I got to do. Yeah, all right. So now let me go ahead and get a nice smooth line right in the, right in the ditch here. Well, I mean, you know what? This is going to I don't really have to be careful because this is going to be black around there too because this is a double page spread. So let's just go ahead and just go ahead and go right over to the other side. I mean, I'm not going to do this other side today. But I, I don't have to be careful and draw a straight line because the other side's going to be black too. But I do want to be careful on the edges. Okay, now I can turn it back over. All right, let's go around. How you doing, Jean? We're working a new Hannah Carl's on book Melody sent us. Doing great today. Panel guy is good, Jean. Good. All right. So whatever, what's everybody else working on? Not necessarily this minute, but what other art things are y'all doing? Uh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Okay, baby, got to get in. There's white paint. Mm. Okay, I want to did want to show y'all this in a minute. What else is everybody else working on as far as any art, coloring? Okay, let me get a bigger brush. That was cool. Oh, it's so pretty out. Can't wait to get out today after the show, after lunch, after Hubster comes home for lunch. Working in Mysteria. Okay. Natalie, that's a good one. Two from an eight. Oh, down from. Oh, well, that's good, Jean. Okay, let's see. Dragon is working in daydreams. Terry is jelly printing for a swap. I'm like, oh, okay. Are you using any jelly printed fabrics, Terry? In your, are you still doing your uh, pencil cases, or have you moved on to those um, chair holder thingies? Bella, I'm working in wallpaper page in a world of flowers. Ooh, a wallpaper page. Detail. Katie is still working on jungle picture. Um, Jean got some snow overnight. Jamie is doing an acrylic April 3, 30, April 30 paintings in 30 days. Oh, my gosh. Is that the same thing Ian's working on, Jamie? Ian working on that too. I mean, he's doing acrylic painting. I'm not sure if it's the same challenge, 30 days, 30 acrylic paintings, but Ian's been doing some awesome uh, acrylic paintings. Uh, Color Graders D, I'm working on Christine Aldrich. Oh, <clears throat> that, that, have to put that again. That flew off. Taps is working in Forest Girls. Gary is doing a page from Sherry Baldy. Uh, Alice in Wonderland, I think it said. Painting Girls, Mixed Media, Drawing and Painting. Molly is Made a Leather Bound Journal. Oh, awesome, Molly. Uh, Faithful says good morning. <laughs> good morning, Faithful. <laughs> Don't push my picture over. Oh, my cat. He's uh, got, I got my framed picture for Boo over there on the floor, and he wants to push it over. Uh, Jean started a crochet project. Christine putting the finishing touches on a new dragon drawing. Uh, Donna has been working in some of Christine's books. Uh, Christine, um, ha, if y'all don't follow C.L. Aldridge, uh, uh, she has a channel and she does color books. So, you know, follow, follow Christine. Jamie is doing smaller, more background D type paintings, abstract, and I'm loving them. G is working on a steampunk book. Ooh, ooh, G. Did you do a video on that yet? To go, uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, there's C.L. Aldridge right there. Um, let me go over here to Ian. I'll show you all a couple of Ian's acrylics. Because, you know, Ian usually does um, watercolor. What the? 
uh, but he's working on some acrylic. Sorry I'm late for the show. Today's whip, whip It Wednesday. I'll be working in whips tonight. Okay, so follow Faithful. She'll be doing whips tonight. <laughs> Hi, Abstract. <laughs> let me go. Let me go to my Facebook. Hang on, guys. Um, Artsy is trying to make a get a spine journal. Oh, I haven't heard of that. Are you hosting that, Artsy? And there's our little bunny. Bunny phobic. <laughs> I plan on drawing a sheep. Still have to practice a lot. Oh, I have to show you my bunnies. Uh, Lagora Morpha. Uh, I'll have to show you my bunnies I drew yesterday. Uh, Ms. Pepsi working in Fox and Imagimorphia. I'm watching my cat, Alacormi, climbing my shelves. All right, let me find Ian here real quick while I'm watching chat. Oh, God, I just got happy mail gouache. I need to learn how to use it. I don't really use gouache that much color creatively. I use watercolor, and I don't use that that much. I'm a pencil gal for the most. Well, I use my acrylic paints in, in collage, but I don't usually use, I, I don't do much watercolor or gouache. I mean, I'm using watercolor today in the color book. All right, baby, you're going to have to get down. Come on, you're going to have to get down. I don't know what you find fascinating up there, but... I don't want my shells coming down. Another, more toys on the floor. They keep bringing me stuff. Okay, let's see. Um, coloring dragon tails, but we'll go back to sketch cards after. Thanks for mentioning Dave. Oh, yeah, Dave Gaskin. Yeah, Gaskin. Yeah, on um, Sketchy. That's where I met. Well, he has a, I didn't meet him on Sketchy, but he was on Sketchy for a long time. I'm, no, no, no. Back up, baby. Back up. I'm not sure if he's still on Sketchy or not because I haven't been on Sketchy in a while. I haven't had time. Um, calling with D. Good morning. Okay, okay baby. <laughs> All right. Um, I think I'm going to have to close the door. Okay, come on. I'm going to have to go out. Um, spending too much time herding cats. Oh, here. Oh, here. Okay, so, um, yeah, let me go over here to Ian. Oh, <laughs> call you bunny it's easier <laughs> okay i can't wait to get this hannah carlson but yeah louise um melody sent two copies i did a flip earlier so if you want to see the flip of the book you weren't here okay so let's go to ian here show you some of his uh i love the eggs i don't know if ian's still here i love these eggs um he says they're color shells, but they look like, well, I guess it could be shells or eggs. They look like a basket of egg, Easter eggs to me. But I think they're supposed to be shells. But I think they look like a basket of Easter eggs. Look at that. So he's been working in some kind of abstracty type acrylics. So there's that one. Um, he did some <laughs> Eureka found it keys. That's so cute. So is Ian still here? Ian, is this this uh, and Jamie, uh, APG Jamie, is this the same thing? Are y'all working on the same uh, challenge? Um, let's see here. Here's another one. I like this one. Look at there we go. Ian usually does watercolor, so acrylic is different for him. Yes, Jamie. Yes, exactly. Ian left. Okay. Uh, is this the same? Is this the same thing that you're doing, Jamie? The challenge? Are y'all doing the same challenge? Um, this one I like that one here. Look at this one. Acrylic April. Okay, hosted by the oh, it's by Cinnamon Cooney. The Art Sherpa's putting it on. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay. Uh, here's another one. He did a little did a little cake. Aren't these good, though, guys? I mean, for Ian, like I said, he's usually a watercolor artist. They did look like Easter eggs. I guess that's just what was on my mind because it's that, it's that time of year. All right, let me show my bunnies. Okay, I'm going to go back in here. I, I did a little bit of sketching yesterday. So I did, um, did some mushrooms. And I did... Um, a root, some root, and they're just pictures off the internet, guys. Just pictures off of Google or Pinterest, and I uh, did some little Easter chicks. They're just, you know, just for me to practice. 
But here's my bunnies. There's some bunnies. And then I did some pigs. I love my little pig butt. <laughs> so there's some pigs and some bunnies. So yeah. They're just little they're just little quick sketches. I did do a little more shading on this one, but they're meant to be quick. They're meant to be pretty fast. So, yeah, and then the rooster. <laughs> Natalie. So anyway, I did those uh yesterday when I was uh I forget what I was watching on TV. I'm watching something and sketching. Uh oh, it was uh Oak Island. Watching Oak Island last night. And let me get a bigger brush. And um, World War II Gold. I love I love those shows on the History Channel. If I could only pick one channel to keep, if I could only have one channel, it would be the History Channel. Although some of them cross over onto Discovery and Travel Channel, like Josh. Um, yours have ears that do that too? Oh, my gosh. So, okay, so let's, let me get this brush wet and let me finish up this right down here. <gasps> Ooh, let's not drop that on the book. And then I want to show you um, the difference if you're using acrylic paint versus pencil, which I, like I said, I usually have my little sample sitting right here, but I can't find it. And if you're just joining us or haven't watched my show before, it is a chat show. We chat. We stop. We talk. We chat. We promote other people. Um, that's really important for me. Hi, Cynthia. You like the History Channel, too? Yeah. Um, so we do a lot of that. And I always tell you, if you see somebody here that's talking about something they're doing, um, go follow their channel by clicking on their name or the three dots at the end of their name and go follow their channels too and subscribe, you know, subscribe and uh, ring their bell so you get notifications. And thanks all you guys for the thumbs up. I want to put together a photo montage video at the end because you're not filming it. Okay, Jamie. Uh, bye, Gary. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for stopping in. Uh, hi, Julie Topaz. How, how long have you been here? I'm just now seeing you. My one channel would be Investigation Discovery. I, I don't, is that like, is that like mysteries and solving murders and stuff like that, Julie? See, I don't think I, if I have that channel, I don't think I've ever seen it. But I wouldn't be watching it anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I like to read my British uh, murder mysteries, Scotland Yard. Those kind of things, but yeah, I'm not really interested in that. Forensic forensics, yeah, yeah, no, not for me. But good morning, by the way. Okay, so we got this pa background painted. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and oh well, it's dry. It's okay. I'll leave that behind there. It's a good idea to have something behind your page anyway. All right. So what I wanted to show you with this is um, let me let me um. Uh, Clean my brush out here first. Is um no, that's not clean enough. Clean those brushes. Is um okay. Well, thanks for stopping in, Julie. Okay, I'm gonna get a black uh, prisma. So this is why using black acrylic paint is nice and beneficial. Let me get my little sharpeners here and sharpen this pencil. Yeah, a lot of people like those kind of things. I, I you know, and I don't like medical shows either. <laughs> Grey's Anatomy. Well, my, my granddaughter binge watched uh, like all the seasons of Grey's Anatomy like I don't know how long it took her to watch them all on Netflix. <laughs> she watched all of them. Um, okay, so this is acrylic paint. Now it's dry. And I'm going to go ahead and put down a black. Let's just say you're coloring a background, right? You're coloring a background and you want it solid black. So 
So this is pencil. And this is paint. Now let me get a white. Show me. <coughs> Jean is so interesting. I love the salt bubbles. Do you want to capture? Oh, well, yeah, you, you kind of have a personal interest in that particular case. Have they shown that case on, on the show, Julie? Did they show that on the sh uh, that, that case on the show, on Investigation Channel? Oh, you're welcome, Teresa. Thank you. All right, so here is just white pencil, paint, and pencil. So if I want to, like, let's just say I want to color some clouds or stars or whatever. I want to show you, look, I'm going to hard pressure. I am hard pressuring on that pencil and it's smearing some off. But look, you see no white, right? Now let me, let me, let me sharpen that again and clean that off. You always want to make sure you clean the tips of your pencils. No, but it's been on the headline of the channel in life. Oh, okay. You like the lost gold show in your hook? Yeah. Hey, Miss Vicky. Yeah. Um, if you watched, I know you said you have to record them and watch them later, uh, Miss Vicky. But um, on the second episode, I think they're on episode four now of the lost World War II gold. On episode two was Janet's son was the LIDAR, the LIDAR, L-I-D-A-R, is it E-R-A-R? LIDAR, you know, the the being able to uh, for lack of a better word x-ray through the forest uh anyway um that's janet's son that was on that one the lidar expert on on episode two but uh okay so that's pencil white pencil over black pencil now i'm gonna i'm gonna show you how look i'm gonna hold it way back here going over the paint You can almost get it right back to white. So there's there's the difference between using paint and a pencil. I know, isn't that cool, Miss Vicky? And hi, and you just can I show your picture, Miss Vicky, that you posted of the little boy, the little baby? <laughs> I mean, it's public, so oh, let's show what I don't know. Did somebody? Yeah, there we go. Um, Miss Vicky, I think I saw um, I saw it on Facebook, but did you post it on Instagram too? It was the cutest little picture in his little in his little. Uh, <laughs> uh, there it is. It's public, so she won't mind if I show it. <laughs> Look at that little chubby cheeks! Oh my gosh, let's come back out here. There's Miss Vicky's new baby. Not how old is he now? How old is he now, Miss Vicky? Look at the little, look at the little cowboy vest, the little cow vest, and the little bandana. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute! <laughs> oh, so if y'all don't follow Miss Vicky, it's Miss Vicky B, the number two. There's that's on that's on Instagram. I, I can't. It wants to flash out. There you go. You can see it up there at the top. <laughs> I know. I know. So anyway, let me get a let me get a uh, baby white guys cleaning some of the paint off my hands. Uh -huh. <laughs> Four months? Oh my gosh! Just seems like yesterday. Oh my gosh! And y'all follow Miss Vicky. Uh, follow Miss Vicky B, and she always has. Um, she has uh, classes, and th I'm not sure she's selling new classes right now. But um, her, her Etsy channel, her Etsy store, she'll have stickers and planner stuff. I know you want to hug him and smell him, Kenny. I know, right? You just want to smell little babies. Well, most of the time. <laughs> but anyway, guys, so there's the difference between paint and um, pencil when you want to go over it. Oh, Miss Vicky, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Okay, so let's get back to our um, um, our cheetah. I was going to say cougar because Terry's here. 
Uh, yeah. So, but we could we could do. Uh, it just looks like he should be saying that. Let's see. I'll I'll do it now for before Terry has to. You know, she's probably still here for a while, but um, in case she has to go, uh, uh, and I don't want to miss her. But here we go. Here's our. This fits today, Terry. Look, it fits today. <laughs> yeah, I <don't> know. <laughs> okay, so now let's see what we can do here. I want another layer of the blue. So let's go, let's move the acrylic paint and let's go back to, let's go back to, where's my blue? Did I use, was it this one? No, it wasn't that one. There's my, the blue I was using. It was this one. The ink. Yeah, ink. Uh, there's my water brush here. All right, so I want another... Let's spray this down with some water. It does fit, doesn't it? <laughs> Terry, was this you when you were younger? Terry and her little tattooed self. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if our hair would do this anymore, Terry. <laughs> I guess we had the right kind of gel and stuff. The right kind of gel um, to make it uh, stick up like this. <laughs> not a mo yeah, hippie, not a mohawk girl. Yeah, this was after our time, Terry. We were we were before this era, right? All right, so I just want a little bit more shade. Just gonna throw a little bit more shade, and let's go ahead and maybe let's just do a little bit more around the ear here. And I'm gonna go over these stars with a gel pen. So I'm just kind of painting over them. It's okay. Oh, let's see. Okay, there's a start. After our time. <laughs> Jamie said, one of my son's friend's mother would use Elmer's glue for his mohawk. Because it would wash out, right? Elmer's glue would wash out. i got to be careful, though. I don't want to get too wet. We're good. It's the water that you got to watch out for. Okay. There's a start. <laughs> and whatever I don't finish, guys, when I always try to post pictures when I'm done. You know. But water would, uh, I mean, Elmer's glue is water you know, comes out with water. So that wouldn't be, that would probably be a good idea. <laughs> Someone said my friends use egg whites. See, I would be kind of leery stacks of food in my hair. I That would kind of, wouldn't that attract bugs? <laughs> oh, bye, Clara. <laughs> uh, little sister, imagine walking in my aunt's house with a shaven black head there, back then. Well, it's just a side, I think, that, well, maybe the mohawk, maybe it is both sides, but it's just kind of like a side shave, you know. No, golden matte medium, you would never get that out of your hair. You would never get golden matte medium out of your hair. All right, so let's see, maybe we can move on to some pencils now. Let's go ahead and dry this. So maybe let's go with, uh, let's go ahead and go with some uh, gel, silver gel pen first. And I just keep all my, these are just all my, let me show you the sets because people are going to ask. Um, these are my Jane Davenport sets. I, I don't remember the names of them, uh, but in the, in the turquoise one, here's all the colors. So you, I, all the paints in, come individually wrapped, just like other pan um, half pan, you know, paints do. And so what I did is I cut off the tops of each of the papers 
and put them here on the lid so that I could see which colors they are. So these are all the colors and just cut off the little labels. That's, that's what I was looking for. Bye, Cynthia. Cut off the labels and put them in here. So this is the colors of the set that has the turquoise top. Okay, it's those colors. Then the set that has the dark turquoise. Here's the difference in the colors. This is more like a, you know, a teal, more of a turquoise. These are have um, kind of deeper, more jewel tone type. Hi, Lady Jan. These are the colors in this set. Just so if you want to know. And then in this set that has the gold, gold set. Does the heat kind of warp the paper? Uh, no, not. I mean, it could if you just sat there and held it on there. I suppose you could uh, coloring with D, but I don't leave it sitting there. And the paper does warp a little bit anytime you use water, but it doesn't bother me. So, but if you don't want any warpage at all, I mean, I can feel a little bit of warping. But here's the thing: by the time I do this side and finish this side, it will be perfectly flat. There will be no warping at all by the time I do the back side. And so these are the colors in the gold set. They're more like flesh tones. They're practicing. They're they're setting off the tornado siren for practice. I can hear it in the background. So those are the colors. No, it's a beautiful day. That's when they set it off to do a test. They set it off during beautiful sunny day, so you know there's really not a tornado. That is just a test. Just a test. Okay, and then I have my butcher uh, porcelain butcher tray that I use for all my water mediums. And the thing about this is, now don't put acrylic paint in here, uh, you know, just water-based mediums. But look, you can completely clean it with a baby with baby wipe. It'll come. It'll come. I mean, I could wash this out, you know, you know, because it's kind of thick there. But do you hear the siren in the background winding down? So anyway, um, th this is a perfect water tray for like neo colors. Your um, like if you do want to be able to do washes with your super tip, you can put some down on here like this, and you can pick it up. See, so you can do super tip. Now I don't want to put my book back on a wet piece spot there but you can use it for your super tips you can use it for your neo color two water soluble crayon you too chi and then I, that's right cheryl i use coffee lids for my acrylic paints <laughs> y'all got it y'all got it okay so let me go ahead and i think i'll probably do the, the rest with i can do the rest with pencil And then I just kind of store them in here along with my uh, fine tech gold right in here. And it just all stays in the tray like that. Very um, user friendly and organized. All right. So I'm going to put that to the side. And I need another baby wipe. So I just stuck my finger in the black paint. <clears throat> I'll do a little pencil. Do a little pencil. Okay, let's move these brushes. So if you're just joining us, we're coloring in a couple of different names, either animal, spirit animal or soulmates is the translation from Swedish. Uh, it's a Hannah Carlson. I did do a flip at the beginning of the show. So if you want to see the whole book, hi, B. And Miss Melody sent two copies, one for me and one for uh, a giveaway, which we'll probably do next week. Okay, so let me get my Prismas. We'll just go with Prismas. And I do, I bought myself a new set of Prismas on my birthday in February. Um, but I do have them, have them all over. I have them in here. I have them in, I have them in bundles. <laughs> Prismas, uh, me and Prismas. And Jan is the same way. She loves her Prismas too. We have we love our prisoners. So here's my 
usual colors that I use. And then here's all my flesh tones that I use mostly when I'm doing faces and flesh tones and stuff. But I was running out of certain colors. So I said, well, I'll just go ahead and get me a new set for my birthday. So I have a, a new set of 150. Well, I say new. I, you know, you can see I'm using them. All right. So let's move this out of the way and go over here on the page. Thank you, Terry. Yeah, it's. I don't think it's released on Amazon yet, is it, Terry? Uh, you can get it at Cool Craft. That's where Miss Melody um, got mine. And it does take a minute to come. If you order from Cool Craft or 70 East, it does take a minute to get to you. So it's coming in August. Thanks, Terry. All right. So now let's go ahead and I'm going to, let's see. Do I want to sit? Let's see what's going to work the best. This silver, this silver, or do I want a silver Posca? I'm going to test some silvers. <laughs> um, this one's probably going to be too... Yeah, we'll see. I'm thinking probably the this one for the lighter. Let me do a little test. Here. Let's just do it on this paper. Hi, Bonnie. How you doing? Let's get up. Oh. Let's get this one crack a lacking. You don't want to push on it too many times. That one has a little glitter, and this one never fails me. I say that as it fails me. <laughs> the Pentel, they usually are really good, but I'm liking this one because it has glitter. This is looking a little gray. Uh, I might just go with this one. And I could also go over now. Where did I put my um hang on? Where did I put my uh oh here we go? Wink of Stella. We could put Wink of Stella over some of the shiny, like the, the stars. If it's not shiny enough. <laughs> no, I use them so much. Here's the thing, guys. These work. I love the Pentel Silver and Gold Star Star Gel. No, Stardust. What is it called? Sunburst. Sunburst. Uh, they don't make the white anymore. I've told you all my white white gel pen story of the sunburst. But anyway, the Pentel Gold and Silver, you can buy them in a pair, like at Hobby Lobby, and they're only like $3 and change. Use a 40% use a off coupon. You can get them both for like 2 bucks or less. And they really work well. But when you use them like I do, I abuse them, put them in wet paint and on top of acrylic and stuff like that. Then, you know, you're just asking for them to not work. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you're here, Bonnie. Glad you're. I hope you're feeling better. I know you streamed last Friday, so I'm hoping you're better. But I think I'm going to use the silver. Now, let me go ahead and move this. Uh, well, let me just. That's wet. <laughs> Put that behind the book and get it on this side. All right. <clears throat> so I want to, I'll start with the stars. So I'm going to go ahead and do the silver stars. Hi, Sharon. All right. So I'm going to do the silver stars. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's nice. All right. I'll, sh I'll, turn I'll tilt it for you in a minute. But again, I'm going over other paints. So sometimes you just need to come over here and kind of like clean it off. This is looking good. I don't even think I'll need any um, Wink of Stella. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to color the hair, the spikes. I'm going to color it a couple shades of um, indigo and blue. And then I think I'll take my Wink of Stella clear and just like whoosh, just whoosh over the whole thing. So what I'm going to do with this is her jewelry. Now, I'm not going to, I could do like her ear wraps here, but I don't want to do this yet because I haven't finished with her face. And that'll be too hard to pencil around, but I'll do the, uh, I'll do these where you can see how shiny they are. Same thing for the safety pin. All right, see, let's see if I can capture. 
capture the light. Um, there, can y'all see on our ear wraps there? A little bit of sh it, there, it's really more glittery in person. It's not wanting to, maybe when I get all these stars done, they'll show up. Thanks, Terry. Oh, you, I mean, I can see how shi shimmery these stars are and uh, which are not showing up till I tilt it. But, oh, my gosh, they look so good. I probably should have done the hair first. Oh, well. Yeah, it's best to do back to front, not throw the stuff that's the detail on top at the beginning. Because then you have to work around it. You have to work around those details that you want, you couldn't be patient enough to get to. <laughs> oh, thank you, Becky. And Becky, what um I've seen people and I have and I gotta say I haven't watched the videos on it, but aren't you doing some kind of a monthly challenge or something? I've seen people mention it, but um I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> so what is it you're doing, Becky? <laughs> Some kind of a challenge over on your channel, coloring challenge. I try to catch up. I mean, I got to say, guys, most of the times I can't watch, you know, I miss a lot of people, you know. I try to watch as many as I can. Like when I'm working, I'll, I usually have a, a long video on in the background. But, you know, a two or three hour video, y'all know you're here with me three hours. Um, it, it takes time to watch everybody. I'm waiting to see what Becky said. Uh, and hi, Becky or Steve, another the other Becky. Hi, Lisa. Thanks, Julie. Julie says it kept keeps us coming back. Yeah, we've been here. We're working on getting into nine years. I've known Julie. Julie was one of the very first people I met over on Ustream. That's back when we were streaming on Ustream before YouTube Live. And um, so I've been knowing Julie for over like eight years. Jean, sassy Jean, seven, I think, seven or eight. Same for Janet, pretty close. But but Carrie Love, I Carrie Love, Julie Topaz, and Paula, I think, and Blade. Artistic Biker Blade was actually the very first streamer I ever met. <clears throat> I watched his kids grow up from like, like mine grandkids have. Yep, met at Blades, yeah. Used to wear safety pins. Yeah, that looks... I mean, did you ever feel like, what if you, did you ever get it hung up in your hair coloring with D? Like you flip your hair back and you go, ow. <laughs> uh, yeah. And yeah, Jean, two months after Julie. Yeah. Jean. So yeah, we all, some of us been knowing each other for a long time, but we love new people. Don't get us wrong. We love, we love new, new people that we hadn't met. It's always fun to meet new people from all over the world. Right, guys? And hopefully, at least here, I know in my channel and most of those of you that stream and visit here, try to keep it really friendly with everybody, all newbies. Uh, and when I say newbies, I just mean new to, you know, new to all the fibs, friends in the box. <clears throat> Bye, Kenny. Oh, well, let me show, let me see. So in case Kenny, look, there we go. Can you see this? There we go. See the star shine? Here's, see where they're not painted and where they are painted. See how pretty that looks. That big one can use another little color. Yeah, that Hi, Robin. Yenda Point. Well, welcome back. Thank you. Colored by Caroline. Love the silver. Yeah. So, and this is just a glitter silver pen, and this is out of this set. And these you can get on Amazon. They're U brands and they're not expensive, guys. So if you want some gel pens, there's 12 glitter, nine pastel, six neon, three classic, and they come in the case. 
But, you know, there's you can get gel pens everywhere. Hobby Lobby, Michaels, they all have them. I don't know which ones are the better. I think Pentel are more expensive uh, if you get a whole set of them. My Pentel uh, Sunburst, the gold and silver, like I said, I get those at Hobby Lobby for like, you know, the three and change regular price for the set of two. So if you use a coupon. But they quit making the white one. I, how, has everybody heard my story on the white gel pen, on the white Sunburst? Uh, my... Uh, Bill Cosby's story, and I know uh, all the stuff that's happened with Bill Cosby in, in recent times, but uh, back when, you know, when he came out and was a comedian, so funny, oh my gosh, we, we had his, al we had his albums, we had Bill Cosby albums, you know, if y'all ever, you know, that's, <laughs> if there's any, some of y'all are old enough to know what an album is, <laughs> uh, Glitter pins are not your friend, Bonnie. Oh, well, it's they're not. I wouldn't say this. It's not loose. It's not like loose glitter. I don't like loose glitter either, Bonnie, where it can get in your eyes and all over the place. This this is not like that. This is not like that at all. You had albums too. <laughs> she can't raise her hand. Well, anyway, I'll tell y'all. Want to hear the story again? My my uh my sunburst. Bill Cosby story. I, I relate the two. They're not related, but I relate the, I relate the two. <laughs> oh, but anyway, so well, let me tell you what happened with my sunburst. The white sunburst, and st they still make the gold and silver, and I think you can probably still get the white ones online. But, you know, I just go with the white Posca anymore. But, uh, you know, there for a while, you know, we use the uh, what was that other white, the Signo, the Signo white pen, bring the story, the white Signo pen that's from Japan. You know, i got tons of those too. Okay, I became friends. Oh, oh, wow, Bonnie, that's weird. Yeah, the Signo Uniballs, yeah, I, I like them too until Posca Jean. Now it's hard to beat a, it's, the hot, it's hard to beat a fine point white Posca. You know, it's just really hard to beat that. So, but at the time, the Signos, and look, guys, I mean, I'm telling you, let me see, where are I? I'm showing you this. I'm showing you this for a reason. I can't tell you which one of these are working and which one are not. But I used to love my white Signos. I use them all the time. Love my white Signo pens particularly the ones with the yellow dot that meant they came from Japan. Half of these probably work and half of them don't. They would clog. They would, they would just get jacked up. It was so frustrating. <laughs> so anyway, when the, the white star gel pen came out, and, and they're just like the here. It's just like this gold, this Pentel Sunburst. I'm sorry, Sunburst is what the brand, the, the Pentel Sunburst. They come in gold, silver, and they used to come in white. They worked amazing, amazing. <laughs> so I bought a couple. I bought a couple of them at. They were at Staples. That was the only place I saw them. Again, I, I could probably read. I could probably get them on Amazon, Etsy. I mean, you know, there's probably places to get them. But I just don't look for them because I use my Posca now, my Fine uh, Point Posca. But uh, <clears throat> so anyway, I went to Staples and they had the white. I said, "Oh my gosh, the silver and gold works so well. I'm going to get this white one and test it out." So I got two of them, took them home. And oh my gosh, they work like, it was like the best white pen ever before I met a Posca. And um, so I used them for a couple months, you know, and started running out. So I go to, um, so I go to uh, Staples, which my Staples has since closed down. But anyway, so I go to my Staples. I said, yeah, I can't find these anywhere. Where do you, where do you keep them now? He goes, oh, those were just a promotional item. We don't have them. 
I went, oh, okay, well, go ahead and uh, I'll just order them all online, you know, from the Staples online store. No, no, ma'am, you don't understand. We don't have them anymore. I said, what do you mean? He goes, well, they, we don't make them. They're, they're not, I don't know if he said they didn't make them anymore, but they didn't have them anymore. And Staples was the only place I'd ever seen, ever seen. <laughs> those white starburst um, pins. I said, well, what do you mean? He goes, they were a promotional item. We don't have those anymore. Not even on your online store, no. And so when he said that, this story from Bill Cosby's album back in the 60s came to my mind. So in case y'all didn't know, Bill Cosby started out as a gym. He was a gym. He had a degree in, in he's a teacher in gym, gym teacher, Okay. And when he first started out as a comedian, he talked a lot about being a gym teacher. This album, I think, came out in, I think the album was called Why Is There Air? If you ever see it, <laughs> you got to listen. I think you, can, I think you can see it on YouTube. I think this story is on YouTube. So just write that down. Why Is There Air? That's the name of the album. And I'll tell you the story and you can look at look it up by that. Okay, so here's the start. Look. Ooh, there we go, baby. There we go. So now I'm gonna do the spikes. So I've just got to do something while we're talking while I'm talking. <laughs> so uh, so anyway, when he was a gym teacher, he um he, he went to work one day and he had a toothache. And I and he they'll tell he'll tell it much better than I can, guys. And I've told the story a whole bunch of times anyway, but I love it. <laughs> this is the story that went through my head when Staples told me they did not make those white pens anymore. So um he was a gym teacher. He went to school, you know, teach that day, and he had a toothache. And he, had, and he couldn't get into the dentist, I think, to like the next day or something like that. I don't remember the times, you know, but it was like the next day or something. And uh, so one of the other teachers said, what's wrong with you? And he goes, well, I've got this toothache and it just, you know, just throbbing. She goes, well, here, take one of these. And he goes, well, what is this? She goes, it's a Midol. He goes, a Midol? Isn't that for like women, you know, that time of month? And she goes, yeah, but she goes, trust me, take a Midol. So he said, um, okay. So he took the mite off. He goes, and this is how he said it. And the pain went away. He goes, I even tried to push on that's something like you. I tried to push on my face to make the pain come back. And the pain was gone. It was gone. It was a miracle. And he said, uh, he went over to the the he told the woman, he goes, It's awesome, it's gone. The pain is gone. She goes, Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, the pain's gone. So later that day, toward the end of the day, the pain started coming back. So he went up to the woman and he said, uh, that might all, it's wearing off. I need another one. She goes, well, I don't have any more. He goes, what are you, some kind of junkie dealer? <laughs> and that's what I felt like telling the guy at Staples when he told me there was no more white pins. What are you, some kind of junkie dealer? You can't <laughs> hooked on these white pins and you cut us off? <laughs> anyway, so you can go look up the full the full story, the full um <laughs> but that I'm not and I'm not joking. That that exact joke from Bill Cosby's 1968, I think it was, album came to me immediately when the Staples guy told me we don't have any more of those pins. <laughs> Y'all know you get a good you get a good um, supply, and then you can't find it anymore. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. I, I shortened it this time. The, I, I've told the story longer before, but y'all all heard it before. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so, well, then uh, Julie just said a mind all emergency. Yeah. So what he did, then he went to the drugstore and uh, he ran into the store and he goes, I need some mind all. You have any mind all? And they're for me. That's how he went into the, you know, because they worked, you know. So anyway, with the toothache. So, yeah, I'm doing all the spikes here with the glitter. Glitter gel. So 
okay, this I still got some in here. I was gonna say we're gonna run out before it's before we get done. Oh my gosh. But yeah, Bill Cosby is a hoot. And you know, I know all the things he's had happen to him, but like uh, the Huxtables, we when the kids were growing up in the you know 80s, the Hux we never missed the Huxtables. That was an awesome show. <clears throat> oh, it's, yeah, it's kind of like the sponge episode on Seinfeld. Yeah. <laughs> my door's rattling there. The wind is rattling my door. I closed it so the cats wouldn't get in, but now it's rattling. I have to go open it. Yeah, the sponge episode. Yeah, quit making the sponge. If y'all don't know what we're talking about, just go look on, uh, I'm sure it's on uh, YouTube. Seinfeld sponge episode. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> there we go. See the spikes. Oh, I'm dropping my. I have my little stickers that came in it in the back here, and they're dropping out. I should put. There we go. It's not showing. There we go. Okay. I know we love the Cosby Show. It's so sad what happened to him. Well, he did it to himself, but you know what I mean. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's move these out of the way for now. I'll keep the silver one out. Now I want to go in here with uh, a dark, kind of a darker brown. I'm going to get a couple different colors of skin because she's going to have darker skin. Um, I just got a base coat on there. So let's pick a chocolate brown for the, for the, um, let, me, let me look at my cougar. I mean, my uh, jaguar. Um, yeah, cat. Oh, let's see. I'll show you the picture I have here. Um, this is the picture I have to go with the color. Um, a cheetah. See the colors in the cheetah there? See how the brown... Is this the same thing? I don't know. See how they have spots? Is this... Uh, am I thinking of a... Yeah, that's the cheetah does have some of that, right? The spots that are kind of like this shape. Do I have the right animal? <laughs> but a leopard? No, I don't know. I thought it was a, it's a leopard. All right, let me look up leopard. Let me look up leopard. A leopard? All right, maybe we're thinking of a leopard. Okay. Yeah, it's a leopard. I'm still going to use these same colors, but let me. Yeah, okay. So, um, and they kind of. There we go. Is that right? Are we on? Are we on the right animal now? A leopard or a jaguar? But they still don't look like this. Those kind of U shapes. See, look. Well, maybe on this back. More like a cheetah or a leopard. It doesn't matter. I'm going to do the same things. But um, definitely more leopard. Okay, let's go to another. Yeah, well, okay, here. Here's one. Yeah, on the backs. There we go. See? See the shapes there? That's what I was thinking of. Okay. So we want dark brown. Those are going to be dark brown. So let's go ahead and do those first. And then I'm going to go back in the, some of the... And this right here, this little trim, that's going to be leather trim. So I got this color out. Let me sharpen a little. Which is uh, like a sienna brown. So I got sienna brown for the leather and some shading in the face. And then I got the chocolate brown. You want a jaguar? Dragon? All right, let me go. Where's my... I just had my phone. Where'd I just get? Well, well, oh, there it is. Okay, Jaguar. All right, I'm looking. No, I don't want news. I want images. Yeah, they're bringing up the car. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I guess so. Here's one. This one kind of has like colors inside. 
They're called rosettes. Okay. See, I know my snapping turtles. My snapping turtles know everything. They know everything. Okay, we'll go with the... It's just going to be the same color regardless. Do you remember the dance the family did? Oh, my gosh. That Rudy did for the grandparents, Connie? That was the best, wasn't it? And they did like a like a pantomime, like, um, well, I guess like a karaoke type thing, like pantomime to the music or like, yeah, kind of like karaoke, you know, you sing to, not really, you're not really singing. I know, but I want it to be kind of accurate because it's their spirit animal. <laughs> See, this is a two-page spread. We're not getting to this one today, but I want them to be, you know, accurate, kind of. Cheetah Pardoir, Terry. <laughs> oh my gosh, you girls. Oh, and guys, like when Ian's here, he's a hoot, I tell you. Ian's a hoot. Um, we do have a few guys. We have Gary, Sean now, Dev, Modernist Colors Dev. We have Ian, uh, Nick and Tina. You know the 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 end in the in the Nicantina. <laughs> um, we have a few guys. That looks pretty good. I like the dark. I like that a lot. I'm just kind of coloring it in solid. I'm not even shading that. I'm just kind of hard pressuring that in solid. But I do want this kind of sienna color is going to be in her eye. And it's going to be, let me just go ahead and kind of block in here. The leather trim. The leather trim on the jacket. And I will shade this a little more. Probably add some uh, where the little stitching is. I'll go over that stitching to make it stand out. I'm not really hard pressuring on this part because I want to put a little bit of shading in there. Jaguar snout is thicker and wider than the leopard. Okay. So, so what is this then? What do you say this is, Loretta? Is that the jaguar or the leopard? I mean, they still have the same kind of colors, although one of them had more of a kind of a white muzzle, you know, white fur on its nose area. <laughs> Jaguar, you think, by the looks of it? <coughs> okay. Hubster loves the um, Cosby show where, and it's one of the older ones too. I think uh, Denise had a boyfriend come over and Bill Cosby did not know that the boyfriend was in like right next in the other room. And he comes walking in the room and um, Claire, the mom says, Denise has a boy, her boyfriend uh, coming uh, here or something like that. Denise has a friend uh, coming over. And Bill Cosby goes, well, how ugly is he? <laughs> okay, I don't know who this is. I thought I had my, yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't know anybody in Houston unless it's Blade. Blade or APG Jamie. <laughs> I don't know anybody in the Houston area. Um, but anyway, um, <laughs> that one was funny. This is a leopard. Okay. See y'all. Some of y'all are saying leopard. Definitely a leopard. Yeah, it's probably yeah, I don't I don't answer robocalls. Okay, so let's go. I just kind of got that blocked in. I'm gonna shade all in here. I just got a, a little bit out of time. How long we got? Okay, we're good. It's only 11. We're good. Let me sharpen again. I keep all my little ones in a little bowl right here. Sometimes I sharpen with the small point 
like that. Sometimes I sharpen with a big brush. It just depends on what one I pick up. I know that's probably not really beneficial on the pencils. <clears throat> But it looks pretty cool. And when we start shading with pencil, it's going to look good, too. I'm going to do her hair and all that, all, all those individual hairs. I'm going to get in there with the... Uh, I'm going to get in there with an indigo blue. And same for the spikes. So, um, I don't really have a formula when I'm coloring. Like, do you do the lights first, the darks first? Do you do the skin first? I don't really, you know, it's just, I just dive right in. Elephant Story, Tim Conway, and Mama's Blooper. That was a good one, Jan. Yeah, on, um... Um, Carol Burnett was that on the Carol Burnett show? Bye, Devin. No one, one of hubby's up now. Okay, thanks for coming in. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for all the thumbs up, guys. And thanks everybody for being here. The hello, all the lurkers. Love me some lurkers. And this this uh, safety pin and this chain are going to be silver too. But I'm not going to do that till I do some of the skin. Um, because if I get any pencil on that chain, I can just go over it with the silver, right? So might as well just wait till I get the skin done before I do that. Yeah, I get comments and, you know, a lot of you guys are here. You know, we get, we usually have a couple hundred people here so that, um, you know, y'all don't, aren't the ones that leave comments because you're talking here, right? So when I get comments from the people that watch all the time, but they're not able to be here live, it's nice. So uh, all of you that might either be lurking or watching later. I am going to do, I do want to do another giveaway for um, like via the chat, via, the, I mean the comments, via the comments. Because I know not everybody can be here for the giveaways. So I do like to do one of those every now and then, even though they're a pain in the butt to do. To do a leave a comment kind of giveaway. It's just so much easier to do giveaways when you're here. But I do appreciate all the people that watch, you know, that aren't here. Because, you know, we usually get, you know, a couple thousand, uh, maybe a thousand the first day. But then after that, you know, we get another couple thousand people watching the recordings and so i like to show appreciation to all them too um i found if i answer and don't say anything they hang up after well you know what's fun is when you're at janet's show janet are you still here i don't know if janet's still here if you're at janet's uh, live stream and she gets those calls she answers them on the air she answers them while we're there and and um messes with them <laughs> Those are funny. Yeah, she got well, she got a call once from somebody selling the condos or, you know, timeshare or something like that. You should have heard that one. Janet, do you still have that one recorded? <laughs> do you still have a recording of that one? That was hilarious. Look how cool that's looking, guys. That's looking really good. Anytime I see a shave, a side shave or a shave like this, uh, I'm going to shout out another um, YouTuber that I watch. And uh, she had. She used to have a side shave. She's out of Canada. I think she's. Um, her nationality is Filipino, and it's Joy Son. Have y'all who watches Joy Son? 
did you ever decide if it was a guy or a girl? This? I'm thinking it's a girl. I'm thinking this is a girl just because she kind of has, I don't know, something about the, I don't know. I'm just thinking it's a girl. Well, if you want it to be a guy. <laughs> so do any of y'all watch Joy Son? Joy, J-O-Y-S-A-N. And she's an artist in Canada. And I watch her, she vlogs. And she shows her art and what she's doing and does her vlog. She does it like about once a week. It's usually every like Tuesday or Wednesday. I wish she might have switched it up now. I don't know. But she draws the cutest little things. I just love. She does them in pencil. Doesn't mean color pencil. Um, Y'all thought it was a guy. So I thought it was a girl. I don't, I don't know. Uh, let me let me show y'all. Um, uh, let's see. I don't really want to on YouTube. You watch her, Marianne? Um, let me see if I can. Um, I don't know if I can. Find something on the phone. So anyway, um, let me look her up here on YouTube. Maybe you can see her picture. Now, she doesn't have the side shave anymore, but anyway. I just love her. I love joy -san. Here's a picture of her eating. <laughs> I'll find a better picture than that. Let's see if I can find. There's one of her kind of sleeping. Uh, here's a good picture of her. Okay. I don't know if you can be able to see it. But anyway, there she is right there there I don't want to turn on the video because it's not probably well maybe I can do that let me, let me mute it here so just so you can see a picture of her um, but yeah y'all need to go watch her she's so cute she does a lot of food things and let me find if I can stop it on a find a where she's up oh, there she goes okay there she is But anyway, that's uh, that's her. She has a YouTube channel. If you slap a lot of flat paint on the oh, <laughs> Donna. Yeah, I think the mouth looks like a girl, but you know, I, I'm a man. I thought she. I was picturing her as a girl. <clears throat> Y'all are sweet. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm shouting out her today because she's. I I love her vlogs. Okay, so now we have, let's see, I think I'm going to go ahead and do her lips in the sienna. Because I want her to, you know, I want to have her dark, kind of dark to medium dark skin. Because I want to do her the color of a leopard, right? So, let's do the nostril one. Yeah, not all about that, Terry, but, you know, keep that for another day. Can you all hear my door rattling? I guess I should go ahead and open my door, let the cats back in. Maybe they've settled down by now. <laughs> Bringing me all their toys in here. The wind, the wind is from the window is making the door rattle okay now i need a little bit of a let's get a little bit of a kind of a henna like henna for the lips there and then a little bit of lighter color on the light like with the lights hitting it Uh, let's see. Hi, Faith, Nadia. I'm sure I'm missing some people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got you, Terry. Let me sharpen this. Okay, I'll go back with...
need the golden color. Get my yellow ochre. I think she's beautiful. Uh, thank you. I like her too. I do too. All right. So let's do a little shading. I'm going to start with the, the Sienna. I'm going to go with Sienna to start doing a little shade. Throw a little shade. I do need a little blue in her eyes though. I want uh, a little bit of a shadow into the white part of the eye. Mm -mm. And then I always use a Sharpie pen or a pit pen to do the pupil. And then I can always, you can always go back in with a white uh, Posca. Thanks, guys. And yeah, we're going to, we're working it, we're working it. Okay. So let's go ahead and start. I'm just going over the watercolor here. Pour the pin, a little shadow under the. And just start shading a little at a time. And again, I'll do the pin. Oh, how do I miss those right there? Uh, I will do the pin and the chain here in the silver gel pin. One of the snapping turtles didn't see. I missed that. Hi, Cece. Spraying a different color, and she had a bunch of tattoos. Sweet. Sprayed a different. I missed something. Who got a bunch of tattoos? Pawnee. I missed that. Blanket waving around the world. Don't forget to go. Thank you, Faithful. I love it. I love when Faithful posts little faces. She has her little brown hand and her little, she's so cute. If y'all have not watched Faithful, she is adorable. She's adorable, guys. Faithful. And she, her channel is so chill. Chill, chill channel. At least all the ones I've watched are. So I'm just going to get a little bit darker there. And I'll do her eyelashes again and all that with the uh, uh, marker. I'm just kind of start right there. A little bit more blue on her eyeshadow. I want that, like, you know, that kind of 60s blue that went away. And then, you know, we're bringing it back. Well, some people are bringing it back. I'm not bringing it back. But, uh, Terry, did you ever wear blue eyeshadow? I don't think I ever did. I was a more of a brown shadow girl. Did you ever wear blue eyeshadow? To pass, come to my channel to pass out. <laughs> Faithful. You know, but sometimes a chill channel is just really like Jean. Jean will sleep in my show sometimes when she doesn't sleep at night. I, I don't mind. You know, I don't mind somebody if they if they can't sleep anywhere else and the only place you can sleep is in my show. Then good for you. <laughs> you did. You did wear the blue. Oh, I never wore the blue. Well, I can't say never. I probably played around with it with my friends. You know, you, you try on makeup and stuff. But um, I'm going to go back with the henna here. So I'm just going to start blending and, you know, start Just you did a lot of stuff in the setting. <laughs> not today, not sleeping today, Jean. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back with my oh, let's get colors into her because she's remember, you know, 
she's also um, she's also either a jaguar, or leopard, or what whichever cat we decided. Okay, whatever cat we decided she was. I'm just gonna kind of lightly start to. I want this like a light area right along, like a like the lights hitting her on this side of the face. Just put a light, light coat. So when you go over the top of your watercolor, you have a base, you have something to work with. You don't feel so uh, like starting from scratch, kind of like when you start to do a collage. If you do a collage in a uh, abandoned book, make a kind of mask-like, you know, kind of like, I don't know, I'm just kind of imagining that kind of cheetah-like look. <clears throat> uh, well, go ahead and nod off if you need to, Gene. Ah, 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 oh, they're playing with the, they're playing with that stick that they brought in here. Okay, Laura, thank you. Yeah. I mean, when I'm at watching, um, when I'm at other people, people's uh, long video streams, I'm usually, you know, if I'm not lurking, lurking, I mean, I might have said hi, but, um, you know, I'm working on stuff too. It's just nice, you know, everybody could chat as they can. And just hang out, you know, then you're not by yourself while you're working. That's one of the awesome things about doing streaming. You're not just sitting here by yourself working all day. Right, Laura? Laura's you know, probably de designing her next color book. She doesn't have to sit there by herself with no one to talk to. Okay, hope she's not coming home for lunch. Okay, let me tell them, okay. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> still hang on. Hang on, gotta answer the hubster. <clears throat> Oh, thank you, Laura. You are too. So I'm just kind of going right over the top of the chocolate brown uh, spots. Shaded back in here. Yeah, Laura is. She, Laura's another chill channel. And I mean that in a compliment. Laura's a very, she's soft spoken and very explain she explains everything and So I'm just using dark chocolate brown, sienna, and yellow ochre. Well, it's goldenrod, but it's yellow ochre color. Those are the colors I'm using right now. 
Um, I don't know. I don't see. That's funny. I don't consider. I don't. I don't think of myself as chill at all. I am very hyper. Now, I mean, like today, I'm kind of chill, <laughs> but most of the time, we're we're usually on so many bunny trails around here, rabbit trails. Um, Hubster would never call me chill. My family would probably never call me chill. I mean, I have my chill moments, like like I think we're kind of chill today. But um, <laughs> but thanks. Hubster's not answering. Okay. I guess he'll get back with me later. Jane, I'm the opposite, mostly loud, and I might explain in my own kind of like, yeah, you're fun. Jamie's a hoot. Jamie's funny. Get a little shadow. I'll put a little shadow under the pin there. I'll, I'll get a little shadow under here, too, when I get over there. Okay, so let's see. I need like a clean color. Let's see. Uh, what is this? I never sand. I never know the number names of my colors. You think after using Prismas for I don't know thirty or forty years, <laughs> hurting cats can never be considered chilly. Yeah, yeah. But today's kind of chill. Today's kind of chill. But um, it depends. I think it depends on the project too. You know, like if I'm doing a, a big collage poster you know I, I i get my energy up a little you know because it's, it's you got to work quick and it's big and you got to get things done i'm just kind of blending here let's go back to the yellow okra So I'm going to get some, this, your, some of your skin's going to show, especially along the edges there, you know, where the, where the head, the hair shave is. I'm trying to do a little shadow around the ear wraps there. Yeah, maybe a little bit of put a little dark in there. Cause so I'm gonna go in here. Uh, I'm gonna go in here in a minute with the uh, blue uh, indigo blue. Color books are chill. Yeah, that's true, Laura. Color books, and they're meant to be. You know, they really are. They're meant to be chill, right? Just kind of doing a little bit of random skin tone in the behind the hair here. Put probably a little bit of yellow ochre in there too, just a little. But I can, I'm kind of imagining that she has blue hair and, um, you know, maybe she shaved and she just put the blue like, you know, so it's kind of like the blue is on the shaved and on the thing there on the, I don't know. I don't, I don't dye, I don't hair any color. So any blues or, you know, I have to, I should ask him on, <laughs> although I don't think he's been dying his hair lately. So I don't know. All right, so let's go in here with some, a little bit of yellow ochre, like where. And then I'm going to go uh, in here with um, indigo blue on the hair itself. Still all this to do here, but I'm working, working my way across the face there.
and trying to keep her kind of cheetah-esque colors. Oh, thanks, Terry. You got to leave. Okay, bye. We'll, we'll go ahead and do an extra cheetah, I mean, an extra cougar. Cheetah, cougar, jaguar. What, whichever you are there, girl. <laughs> And just for good measure, sleep well tonight. <laughs> okay. So let's get a little bit of the sand. I want to get in here on our, on our hairline here. You just got to keep blending out. If you, if the, you know, if you want darker skin, you just got to do it slowly, because you know, dark skin people have highlights too. <laughs> you know, they're gonna have highlights on their skin, so you still, you know, don't, don't just make it solid. <clears throat> to slowly build up the color. Hi, Daphne. 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 Oh, dropped a pencil. On. Um, I'm thinking you're saying that it that you like the coloring page. <laughs> Thank you. Is it Merci or um? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to take a break on the skin for a minute and get up into her hair. But you can see I'm going to kind of just keep working across. Just keep working across. I'm going to put a little bit of light blue in the, just a little highlight in the eyebrows. And then I think I'm going to put some silver in the eyebrows too. Some silver gel pen. I usually like to do like hairs and stuff, but Hannah Carl's on is kind of drawn in an eyebrow fully. So I'm just going to kind of highlight the, highlight the top of it there. Maybe a little silver on the eyeshadow. I'm kind of feeling that. Now remember, I want to use my Wink of Stella. After I, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get, let's try to get some of the hair done so we can use the Wink of Stella. But for the silver, you can see where all the silver is so far. Okay, so let me get my indigo blue. Where are you, indigo? All right, did I not put you back in your house? Oh, there you are. And usually what I do on indigo is, I'll show you here. Hi there, baby girl. You chewed up that leaf. You left a big mess for mama. Now I got a vacuum. You chewed up that whole leaf. You did. You talking to me? Are you talking to me? You're such a sweet little princess. Yes, you are. Okay, so what I usually do is I take a uh, blue... Um, I don't want to cover up the numbers. As soon as I cover up the number, someone's going to go, what number is that? But I'll put a piece of blue painter tape on the blue because there's been times where I thought it was black 
and started doing things. I think it was black. At least it wasn't a dead mouse. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, did. I miss that, Jean. I miss Lena's dead mouse. Get a little shade in there. Okay. So what I want to do, and I'm probably going to have to turn this upside down because I'm going to be drawing lines. So at least I'm going to have it upside down for a minute while I draw some blue lines. Just kind of flick in. And sharpen better. I'm gonna go, I need a pointier point, a long point on this. A longer point. <clears throat> so um, the idea here is I'm gonna put on this blue. And then I'm going to kind of shimmer over the whole thing with the Wink of Stella. Now, you could probably do the same thing with the, with the what do you call it, uh, stickles, glitter. But it'll be a little spiky. It was horrifying. Did she, did the cat actually bring her a mouse on the stream, like up on her desk? I'm not getting the message. I think that's from Huckster. Did she, did they bring, now he just brings it. But I mean, did it? Did her cat bring a mouse right up on the desk in the stream? Oh, your cat did, Andrea. I don't know why I thought it was Lena. Bye, Gary. Food calling. Yeah, I hear you. I got to finish, though, before I get to eat here. <laughs> Once in a while, I'll bring a snack in here, but most of the time... Because then I try to talk. I'm eating and trying to talk, and then I'm choking. <laughs> During a stream, though, Andrea? That would be pretty bad. You're streaming, and your cat just comes up here and drops a mouse. Mine dropped the toy mice. They'll come up here and drop a toy mouse. But you know they don't they don't have access to outside, so they wouldn't really have a way to get a real mouse. Yeah, mine don't go outside unless they're on their their harness, on their leash. Yeah, I know. And it's so funny. I know people when they're driving by our street down the street, they see Hubster and I out there walking the cats. We're not really walking them; they're walking us. <laughs> but they're on their harnesses. And I know that's just not, you know, it's not a thing you see every day. <laughs> All right, so, so can y'all see the difference there? Uh-oh, what happened there? You keep getting an error? Oh, I'm still rolling here, Jean. I don't know. Is anybody else getting an error? Hopefully we're not having issues. If we get cut off, though, guys, then we'll just, you know, we'll see you next time. <laughs> uh, Cause we're 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 rolling up on three hours. I want to do this hair, though. Um, 
so I can put the, the shimmer on it so you can see what it looks like. It's a Wink of Stella, like silver. It's either silver or clear. I don't know which one it is. Maybe it says on the thing. Let me sharpen again. And I wanted to get into the, you know, the hair here. But I will post it on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, you don't have to follow me or me follow you on Facebook. Uh, my albums are um, art albums are all public. All my drawings, my portraits, and the commissions that I have permission. You know, not everybody wants their stuff on uh, Facebook, so a lot of them don't make it on Facebook. You know, portraits of kids, grandkids, um, deceased family members, old people that I've drawn that have passed. Uh, you know, they don't they don't want their stuff out there. So I respect their. Uh, you know, if they commission me, I don't put that out there. If they don't, if they don't want it, I always ask. But I have all my Gold Rush fan art and some other, you know, movie star fan art that I do for Hubster. Um, what else? You know, animals, pet portraits. Now, the pet portraits, nobody ever cares if their pets are online. So I've got tons of pet portraits on Facebook. Well, they're all over. They're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. But they're all in albums on Facebook. So it's easier to find if you're looking for, like, pet portraits. They're all in an album. Um... Thank you, thank you, Neff. Um, I don't know if has squirrel. Yeah, see, when we we've had outdoor cats when we lived in the country and stuff, and they've brought us, you know, presents. But I'm I can't imagine one bringing one in the house and dropping it up here during my stream. Okay. So I'm going to go with that now. Let's do a little bit. Oh, my gosh, Diana. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. So now I want to kind of get a little bit darker right along the hairline here. Although I would put some dark brown. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more shade. I might put some silver stars over in this area here, too. Okay, so now what I want to do is just flick in. I don't know if I want to take the time to do all of it here. But I'm going to flick in hairs. Short little hairs. And now let me just at least do along the along the edge, and then I'll because then I can put the uh, I can put the wink of Stella in here. But eventually, look, I'm going to do every little hair here. Well, a lot of them. I don't know about every one, but I need to do along the edge here before I put the wink of Stella. I don't need to do all this. But I have to do what, because the Wink of Stella is going to take a while, a little bit to dry, you know. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I'm going to take my silver pen. See, I'm going to eventually see all the hair. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to turn this over again one more time so I can get a few. Um, extra silver streaks. I'm not doing every one. I'm just kind of going. Maybe, you know, along these top long ones here. And a few. And I'll show you what that looks like. And then we're going to go over it with a Wink of Stella. T 
takes a little minute to get a whole page done. That's why I knew I wouldn't get two pages done. Then I'll tilt it so you can see the shimmer. So thanks everybody for hanging out. Again, thank you Melody for the book and for the extra copy of the book for the giveaway. I'll probably do it next week, guys. I already have enough to give away today. I mean this week. So we'll maybe do that next week. Perfectly placed when you open the door. Ooh. <laughs> but I'll try to finish it today. So I don't know if Joycey or anybody else is streaming today. Janet and I will be, and so oh, there's a few of us that um, live tweet during Survivor. Janet and I are always there. Not everybody else is always there, but Janet and I are always there. <laughs> and then uh, looking forward to Rupert. Being on Amazing Race. Did you see hear that, Gene? Were you here when we were talking about Rupert being on Amazing Race? I haven't watched Amazing Race in years. Or do you watch Amazing Race Canada? That might be a totally... Because I know Gene watched Amazing Race, but it might be a totally different Amazing Race in Canada. Is it, Gene? A different Amazing Race in Canada? Yeah, well, Rupert... Do you know Rupert, the pirate Rupert from Survivor? You you never watched Survivor. But he and his wife are going to be on Amazing Race. You watch both. Okay. Well, on April 17th, I'm, a th I'm thinking it's going to be right after Survivor. If April 17th is on a Wednesday. Uh, yeah, today's a 10th. So, yeah. So, next Wednesday, I believe, then, um, the new Amazing Race I do know Rupert. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, he and his wife are going to be on it. Yeah, Rupert and Laura. Yeah. Okay, so here, guys, there's the... See where I put the silver in the spikes? Okay. Now, again, you can see where I've started on the hair. It's not going to be solid. That's about what... Right there is about what it's going to look like everywhere. Okay, it's going to kind of look like that, right? But what I want to do here at the end... I keep losing all my stickers out at the back of the book. I have the paper, the wrap, because it's so cute. But it doesn't want to stay. I should a washi tape it in there. Okay, so I want to. Oh, I wanted to do. Oh, let me do a little bit down here on the spikes, guys. Hang on, and then we'll put then because the last thing I want to do is put the wink of Stella because it's going to be. I don't want to be trying to pencil around it. So what I want to do here is I want to shadow and detail up. The spikes. And I didn't get to do it along this little leather either. Let me get this, this section done here. She's looking pretty cool, isn't she? Like cool in the cool sense. <laughs> I 
So yeah, Jean, that starts next Wednesday here. Does it start the same time in Canada? We'll give you a star. Well, Hobster and I were gonna, you know, he was, but his um, he's going to he's going out to lunch with the coworkers. So uh, yeah, that's what he texted me. So I'll have to take the cats out one at a time. I can't take them out both at the same time on their harness because if one goes one way and one goes the other, they can pop out of their harness. They can like back out of their harness. So I only can take out one at a time, but we usually take them out every day at lunch. And it's such a beautiful day here. So if I go out after this and after taking the cats out, then um, I got to take them out for a while. They love, they love their outdoor time. You can't not have, let them have their outdoor time. Okay, hang on, guys. Get some shadows around these spikes here. Okay, so, well, there's a start. You can see what it looks like with some shading and without some shading. I'm going to do more, but you can see how I'm starting to build up the shadows and stuff around the spikes. And then here's what it looks like before I put any in there. See, I started doing it around here. Um, Gene, yep, we get CBS Plus our channel, Global Carries, all those shows. Bye, v Bye Bonnie. You stay well, girl. Girl, you stay well. Hope to, hope you stream on uh, Friday. Bonnie streams on Fridays now at 10 Eastern. But she was sick there for a while with the flu for about a month. Well, three, two or th three weeks maybe. So you stay well, girl. All right. So let me just stop on this right now. I got more detail to do. But. I want to I want to get the this done. So you can see how that's starting to go there. And then this will be all kind of a couple shades of uh, leather to make this look like leather. All over trying. Yeah, so you're Oliver, you're you're a lizard, you're a dragon lizard, Connie. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, if if one goes one way and goes the other, they can like back out of their harness if they have the pre enough pressure pull. So um, I have to just take one at a time out. Let's do the safety pin. See the shimmer. Okay, so let's go ahead and last thing for the day. I'll, uh, Let's make sure this is working. All right. So um, let's see if it says clear. Okay. So it's it's the clear one. It's number 999. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I don't want to go down into the, just right along the edge of her scalp, but I don't want to get down into her hair. But my plan is, is to go over everything up here. I'm kind of squeezing the, squeezing it out. So this is why you had to have everything else underneath done. Okay. Probably right along the edge there, too. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it just looks just like I wanted it. And then what I'll do in here is I'll probably just do some random, I don't want to do splatter, but just a few like random. Let 
glittery. A couple of larger ones. And if y'all missed a flip of the book, I did flip it at the beginning. I will try to finish her up today, maybe when I get back from getting out of the house. Oh no, I might need a Hobby Lobby trip. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll just pop in a few more here. Same thing for back here. And just one or two up in the back here. There we go. So I'll try to finish her up today. Thanks, guys. It was really fun. And I'm going to work across her face. Her whole face is probably going to be about this dark. This dark right here except right along the edge of her face. I'm going to leave that, that highlight right there, right there, and right along the edge of her face. It'll be kind of light like that, but the rest of her skin is going to look probably about this color, that kind of golden color. And, uh, yeah, so thanks, guys. We'll I'll finish it up and post it later. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Yeah, <laughs> Becky, while you're here, I missed your answer earlier. What is a challenge that you're doing on your channel? What is the challenge you have going on? Because I've missed it. I see people going, oh, I'm doing Becky's challenge, but I don't know what your challenge is. So I wanted everybody to hear about it. Thank you. Thank you, Faithful. Thanks, Stax. Thank you, Katrina. Connie, Jean, thanks guys, Patricia, Ashley, thanks everybody, Pamela, thanks everybody for being here, you're welcome, thanks Laura, thanks for hanging out, I'm sure you are working on a new color book for us, weren't you, are you working on a new color book for us, Laura, <laughs> while you were sitting here, thanks Artsy, thanks Heather, Heather, CBC Coloring, Heather, she has, she's in the UK and she has a coloring channel, painting and coloring. I still have not seen Becky answer. Becky, fess up, girl. What is it? <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thanks, Robin. Thanks, Lady Jan. Lady Jan, uh, y'all follow Lady True North on uh, Instagram. She's the one that did my CAD fail book. You're welcome. Thanks, Julie. Not today, Laura. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I'm not seeing Becky answer, but if she does after I leave, go check out Becky's got some kind of challenge going on. All right, guys. Y'all have a great, blessed day. Thanks, everybody. Bye.